Uh, by the way, what are you scared for? I'm not ready at all. Death. <laughs> Y'all know shit. Yeah, you'll be fine. Fine, you don't need to know things to play D and D. You're fine, you're fine. As if we die, we die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome everybody to the misadventures of Carter Swift, where we learn what happened to Carter Swift after he decided to bail on the group. I did bail. I mean, what you, an ass! Kind, he kind of did. did. <laughs> yeah, you kind of did. <laughs> All right. But before we begin this new adventure, let me ask you guys something. Do you know what every adventurer needs? Money. Luck. Close. An extra character sheet. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, some do. But I was going to say a nice bag, like these dice bags made by, by our very own Impassable Creation. Hey! Oh, wow! Those are cool! Yes, and they come in all sorts of sizes and varieties, just like all of the characters in this campaign. <laughs> Now we gotta get finicky when she's left out. I was gonna say, it looks like she's finicky one. I'm off that shelf, just throw it at her. She's right next to you. She's well, right for, below you, just throw well, it <laughs> For those of you who want to get your own dice bag, all you gotta do is follow this link here and use the code GOATSMILK for 10% off. Oh, and if I'm not mistaken, each bag comes with a set of dice as well. And she does a very good job at matching them to the bag. I try. <laughs> All right, so. Yep. With this adventure, you guys are going to be experiencing what happened to Carter by about five years in the future is where this is taking place from mm -hmm. uh, the Ruination of the Gods campaign. The world has come to a point where it's getting more and more overrun with demons and creatures from the shadow fell after the shadow dragon was released so you guys are on the continent of adesso it is also the home continent of carter swift typically lush with forests and mountains it's a very beautiful area typically but with the demons coming out, most of them have uh, raised the forests and altered the terrain in various ways. Very few lush areas remain. Now, all of you, except for Carter, have been traveling together for some time, roaming from the village to town, assisting whoever you can, helping fight off demons wherever you can. And you have been trying to find the second in command of the con the army for the continent trying to rally the troops if you will because he's gone into hiding and nobody's 100% certain why um we will begin with you guys at camp um carter is actually you have carter with you however he is unconscious so those of you who are not unconscious, would you like to uh, give us a rundown of your characters? We'll start with Impassable. Okay. Um, Pip is a just, just barely hits two feet tall, um, Iquiqui, um, or an Owlkin. Um, she has a leather armor on, and like you can, she, she's... She's kind of like, uh, she's gray tones, um, and she, you can tell she's just, she's ready to, to, to kill demons, um, and any monsters and anything, um, and she is sitting on her little perch, which is on top of her really cool elephant friend guy, or Danny. Um, yes. Hi. I'm a Loxodon. I think that's how you say it. That is right, yes. Which is an elephant. <laughs> and <laughs> my name is Santafent. And um, I'm a artificer. Artificer. I think that's how you say it. So I create things with magic items. And 
random items. And yeah, we're just surviving. Pip sits on my little shoulder and we're traveling. I got a magic sleigh. That's where Carter's laying. Um, I can make it disappear. I could call it. It's like a magic sleigh. It's pretty sweet. And I have an elk. I can ride. It's an elk. What's it's a big name? white elk. What, what, and what's his name? What's his name? He does not have a, his name's R. R. Yeah, I, I, yeah, he just had a marking R. It kind, he kind of has a patch, like an R, and his no, nose kind of shines a little bit yeah. at night. It shines a little bit at night. It's a little red. It's a little bit red. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little red. That's why I thought R, you know, red, little red. Little red's a good name, actually, yeah, even though he's big and white. You caught him but... on one foggy eve, and you couldn't see your way. You know what? You, I, you know, maybe. But I bought him, actually. I didn't find him. And that's me. Hi. All right. Uh, also in the party is a Furbolg. Played by our very own Cole. Hello. Um, let me play Mordecai. Uh, he's a he's a chubby furball, and he has a uh, blue furry skin, um, which he has little darker shades of blue, like freckle spots all over his fur. Um, he has ears and nose like a cow, and the nose kind of has like a little pinkish tip to it. Um, he has wide green eyes like a cow. Uh, and his hair is a neon pink that's long, but he has it tied up in ponytails that kind of line up like a mohawk on the back of his head. Um, he <coughs> wears a light blue uh, heori, heori um, which is kind of like a short kimono um, that has pink cherry blossom, sakura leaves uh, designs. Uh, he wears pants a similar fabric and color as the hori. Um, oh, which the hori is light blue with the, with the design on that. Um, however, the colors have kind of faded from the sun and just being worn for a long time uh, and the fabric is starting to fade on it. Uh, he walks barefoot, revealing his big furry feet um, that have calluses from, you know, the rough terrain. <laughs> the uh, he wears a white sash around his waist, torn and stained from combat. Um, and his aurora, he kind of wears it open, revealing his big gut, um, but also it shows patches of like half plate armor that's blackened and stuff. Um, covering his body. Um, let's see. Uh, his ears are double pierced. He has two like golden rings on each ear. Um, and uh, yeah. And he carries a big O Zambato sword, which is like the big O anime Buster Blades. Um, that's in a leather sheave, and it's also um, kind of worn and teared and uh, kind of uh, trying to think of the word fading from just use and stuff. Um, and he, uh, yeah, he's tall. He stands 7'7". Seven, seven. And he weighs uh, 386 pounds. Big boy. He's a big yeah, boy. Yeah, big boy. All right. And then we go to Finicky's character, Lauren, a human cleric. I've, yes, I'm, a, I'm just a plain old human, not one of these weird bastards here. Um, this is Lauren Stillwater. She is a, uh, she's a cleric. Uh, she is five foot seven. She's got hazel eyes, gold flecks, uh, chestnut brown hair. Um, she is much younger than I am. <laughs> she wears a uh, half plate armor, a uh, red dress, white surcoat underneath. Her, uh, her chest plate has the uh, symbol of her deity, which is a uh, Lathander. So it's a, uh, it's a sun, a, a sunrise with a, uh, a road going toward it. Um, she's kind of lived in seclusion for, uh, for years now. And only when like all this, this has started, has she, uh, she kind of come out of seclusion, out of, out of meditation and solitude to, uh, come help the, the masses. And she's met all of her new companions. Uh, along the way. All right. Mm. All right. So as stated before, you guys are just you've been traveling together for a while, um, and you are currently in the in the providence of oh, where did it go? Aloofson, and you are just out. You are about a half day's travel from a small town known as Arben. Uh, it was already on your line of travel. As you guys were just on your way to see if anybody there needed help as you passed through 
keep and while you were searching for the second in command, the vice captain, and you stumbled upon Carter Swift, unconscious, surrounded by a bunch of dead demons. He's been out for at least the couple days you've had him with you, and you were going to drop him off at a clinic on your way through. So uh, during no. during this camp, what would you guys like to be doing? What <laughs> time of day is it? Uh, it's late. Getting to be about late evening. Okay, so Loren is uh, sitting off a little ways away from everybody. Um, she's facing towards the sunset, and she is silently praying. Mordecai would be cooking. Okay. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> uh, Pip will just be sitting next, well, standing next to Mordecai, just like... Like, rubbing her hands together, like, can't wait to eat type thing. <laughs> yep, I'm standing there, I got my trunk all the way, just right in the front, just smelling. Just smelling. Hold on. My trunk just out. I know, I'm just, I'm waiting. I'm hungry. Oh, it's ready. <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, I know, we're all okay. hungry, man. Okay. okay, But it smells so good. No, it's oh. gonna be done. It's gonna <laughs> wait. All right. <sighs> I guess. Mm. So, um, what you, um, is the, is the, is the human awake yet, or, uh, he, uh, is still sleeping? He's, he's still out. Oh. Checked him a little bit ago. Oh. He's safe in the sleigh. He's, he's, looks warm, but he's still out. We'll see. All right, so you're cooking away, and after a while, uh, you notice an additional body. This Carter Swift had finally woken up and kind of just like stumbled his way out of the sleigh, looking around confused. Oh, 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 oh. hello. Uh, I will call over to oh. uh, Lauren. Yeah, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren. Uh, you're, he's awake. <laughs> uh, L Lauren uh, finishes her her prayer, um, and stands up, dusts her her butt off, and uh, turns around and sees Carter. And she's like, "Hey, you! Finally, you're awake. Um, we found you down the road a ways. It looked like you were trying to take on an entire army." Are you feeling all right? Not quite, I reckon. Is this a dream? Do you often have dreams that have giant elephants in it? I'm not a dream. No, he's pretty real. You're a dream, darling. Thank you. A, a talking <laughs> elephant and uh, whatever the hell you are, as he nods to Mordecai. A rude. Oh, oh, I, oh, I, oh I, I'm a it's Mordecai. Okay. It's okay, Mordecai. What's a Mordecai? It's me. I, I'm a Mordecai. Carter very stupidly stumbles over and starts poking and pulling at bits of Mordecai. <laughs> Loren walks over and smacks Carter's hand. <laughs> No, we don't. We don't do things like that. I don't know who raised you, but you don't go and poke and prod people like that. So this isn't a dream. No, we've done told you it's not. Carter's gonna look around. What type of topography is around him? Um, so you guys are in a small wooded area. Most of the trees are kind of dead. There's a few that still have their leaves. Um, I'd say, like, seasonal-wise, it's about it's summer, so the, the trees should not be dead. Um, off in the distance, you see some mountains, but they look barren. And it's just everything seems kind of uh, bleak. Uh, so Carter's darting his eyes back and forth, um, 
recognizes that he doesn't know these people or where he is, and he will visibly change his accent um, to sound more like what we've heard Carter talk before. <clears throat> so where exactly are we? We're just We're... outside of Arbend. Yes, what he said. We, we should get there tomorrow. Yes, what is your name, young man? I'm Carter. Carter Swift. I'm gonna write that down in my notes. Now, now, real quick, <laughs> you guys, everyone but Carter, <laughs> that last name <laughs> rings a bell because of the vice captain you're keep, you've been keeping an eye out for. So Loren exchanges a look with everybody else, and she says... Are you no? Are you we're we're looking for a a captain? Is it Carter or Swift? Which one are we looking uh, for? You're looking for Vice Captain Swift. Swift, right? Okay. So are you you don't happen. To, you can't be. You look a little too. Look, young. I just, okay, I was trying not to be rude, but <laughs> are you the, the 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 captain who we're looking for, Captain? Captain Swift? I don't think I would be. Why are you looking for someone like that? Well, I imagine you would know if you were or not. Then I would assume I'm not. <laughs> well, that's too bad, because now we have to continue on this little journey. But that's fine. We'll find him. You asked me a question. I will answer, because I'm not rude like you. So, we're <laughs> looking for a Captain Swift. He's supposed to help with all this mess, but he's kind of disappeared. So, we're out looking for him, and in the meantime, if we come across poor little souls, just like you, we try to help them. As we said, we're right outside of Arben, which is where we will be taking you, along with anybody else we happen to find. And hopefully they have more information, perhaps medicine or something to help you. Um, I don't You're know needed. where you come from. How did you end up in that whole mess anyways? To be honest, I don't have the foggiest idea. What's the last thing you remember, boy? Uh, so, real quick, Carter does remember everything up to the point of when he left his token or his coin on the table at the Dragon Spire Inn and walking out the door. Everything after is a blur. So he remembers. Five years? Yeah. He remembers Arathor. He remembers what happened to Drogos. He remembers his friends, his oh, allies, wow. the places he's been. He just doesn't remember the in between. All right. But he has lived these five years. You don't know. Okay. Yeah. Question for audience of player knowledge Does Carter okay. look five years older than we last saw him? Or. Hmm. Or does he look the same age? That's a good question. I'll say he yeah. looks about the same age. Okay. At least for audience knowledge. I've... <laughs> okay, obviously not us, but we don't know. But He's like Paul Rudd. I'm a mortal. Doesn't age. <laughs> <laughs> I would I know that no. um, Ar Arben? Would I recognize um, that term? It sounds familiar to you. Okay. But right now, everything's kind of in a haze. Yeah, I'd keep that to myself. Okay. So, can I ask who y'all are? Of course. Oh. Yes, I'm sorry, my manners. I'm not the only one who's rude then. Well, my name is Santafent, Mr. Santafent. Interesting name. Why Santafent? Oh, it's just um, of Sant Santa. It comes from the a long line of ancient Loxodons, and Fent is um term for strong warrior Loxodons. So it's a kind of like a family name, Santa Fent. Hmm. And how do you know everyone here? Um, I ran a. We just be finding each other. I met two of them in Orbin, and we kind of just been sticking together, just surviving. We've been looking for the captain, haven't been able to find him. And yeah, we've just been surviving. 
and trying to spread some joy in his chattel world. What business would you have with the captain? Oh, we're just looking weak, so we could um try to you know figure out what's going on with the shadow dudes and stuff. And the town needs a leader, and he was kind of who was in command, and he just kind of went missing. So they just you know asked us to if we found them or if we could find them to find them. We just haven't had any luck. We found so you. So y'all aren't trying to kill him, are you? Oh, why would we try to kill the captain? When you've seen what I've seen. We're not Loren killers. Leads. We're survivors. <laughs> Loren leads, leans over to Mordecai and she's like, I did explain all this to him, didn't I? It, it, was yeah, he not listening? You know, Is it because I'm a woman and he only listens oh, to men? Is that no, it? No, I don't, I don't think so. I think maybe, you know, he hit his head when he, you know, <laughs> found him. He was out for like two days, you know? Uh, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Work. You're hungry? You've been, you've been out for a couple of days. Oh, come over here. You can meet the rest of the crew. This is Mordecai. He's cooking. Bye. I yes, Mordecai you. is an excellent cook. Mm -hmm. My, uh, I, I, well, Mordecai we know. very proudly in his ears, like, the little wet cow thing they flick and stuff. <laughs> uh, like, happiness. <laughs> uh, what's cooking on the fire? Stew. Stew? Yeah, I found some, um, grass. And, you know, you can really season that well with dandelions. I found the last dandelion of the season. And I put it in there and got some water from my water skin. And uh, don't tell anybody, but my secret is oregano that I found at the last town we were in. It was, oh, it's it's going to be, it's going to be great. It's going to be lovely. And hey. how how long have you been cooking? Uh, almost all my life. And how long has that been? I... Um, last time I celebrated a birthday, I was, um, 101. It was a lot. How do you live to be that old? What do you mean? This is like, um, middle-aged herbal. Actually, no, I'm like younger. I don't know. That was weird. Carter is just astonished because he's never met a furball before. He's, I don't think we have in the past. No, we haven't. <clears throat> he reaches out to poke again, but then sees Lauren and then make, thinks better of it and pulls his hand back. Yeah. Pip, Pip will see him trying to poke and just poke him back and be like, hey, wait your turn. I was here first. <laughs> Except she, like, maybe reaches probably your kneecap. <laughs> She's, like, two feet, so whatever two feet on Carter is. I could pick you up if you need help. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pick you up with my trunk and lift you up a little bit. No, I think he gets my point from down here. Okay. <laughs> so why are you allowed to poke him? No, I poked you. Oh. I don't mind being poked. Uh, either way, wait your turn. I was here first. Oh, you want food? Yes, I've been spilling thought, it this whole freaking time. I thought you wanted to poke him. I'm like, it's a free poking country. Is it? Manners. <laughs> it's not polite to poke people. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. It's not. Oh yeah, that's that's Pip. And, um, this is Lauren. She's pretty smart. Pip's pretty cool. Santa Fe can make cool things. And, you know, we we make a pretty fun group. Got pretty lucky. It and has been rather interesting. How long have y'all been together? A mm, couple weeks. DM, how long have we been together? Yeah, how long have uh, we been together? <laughs> Couple weeks. We I don't know. I, it's I definitely said... more than a couple weeks. Okay. Um, I okay. would say you guys have probably been together maybe two and a half, three years, just traveling together. Oh, shit. That oh makes so more sense. Cool. cool. Yeah, we cool. Okay. We cool, cool then. All right. Okay. Yeah, three years. We cool, cool. And you, you relay that to me. 
No, no, no. We're, that's not, that's off topic. Okay. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah We've yeah, been yes, together for three years. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three years. Not the cool, cool part. Y'all have been <laughs> together for three years and no one has died. No. Why? Why would we die? <laughs> yes. Why would we die? I stab like... all the things that come close to killing us. Yeah, she's, and she's pretty quite good at, good that. at it. Pipsqueak takes care of most of our hard stuff. She is small, but she's mighty. Keep that in mind, mister. So she's proficient at poking. Ooh, with stabbing an, things. Maybe with a sword. Thing. <laughs> so, Pip, you have a sword? I have tiny swords. Hold on, two sun blades. Oh, damn. Yeah, and no, I have these. No, no, and she, like, two sun <laughs> daggers. Get it right. <laughs> you see her, like, she has, like, daggers like stuffed away in her leather armor so they're not like evident but then she like w brings up her hands and you can see like these shiny tips to all of her fingers and she's like i have these two they do extra stuff to you kill things quite dangerous i can be so keep that in mind i'll do my best not to get on your bad side but i can make no promises so where where do you what do you plan on doing, young man? Now that you're conscious. I we were don't... gonna take you to the town, but where where do Carter, you belong? Carter, you remember like the last thing that you wanted to do was just go home. Yes. And uh I sent you that information in your DMs. Yes. Um <clears throat> So with my last group, it didn't and well um you all may just want to leave while you can um leave where that's pretty sad there's nowhere to go yeah that kind of sounds like it's bad we don't yeah we're not, not going, sure where you been from anything we're kind of good here i hand a bowl of stew to pip <laughs> you and she'll like scurry off to the side <laughs> So she doesn't get stepped on. <laughs> I'll, build, I'll, I'll pick it up with my trunk and pass it to Carter. Oh, okay. <laughs> another one. Here you go. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Here, here you go. Carter waits for everyone to get theirs and start eating before he will himself. Uh, Loren makes herself comfortable on the on the the floor. Mm -hmm. Oh, she starts eating my politely. In mine and just suck it up. It's gone. <laughs> one little suck. But yeah, what happened to what, uh, one, was one little to suck party. and it's gone? I mean, how big is this fucking bow? Oh, my elephant. I mean, you know, two seats. Figured. Just <laughs> they call we call him Kirby. He's like a vacuum. <laughs> That one, that one, this one was better than last time, Mordecai. Yeah, thanks. Did you, did you put uh, something else in it this time? I, I look at Carter. It's the oregano. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to teach you about some other spices. I would love that. I like discovering new spices. Yes. But yeah, what happened to uh, your, uh, so what happened to your party that you, uh, or alone. I'm alone by choice. I oh. hope my party is well, but I'm a danger to them, oh. and I cannot be trusted. Oh, are you on a naughty list? I saw you writing my name on a book. Did you put it on one? Did you check it twice? <laughs> let me check. Let me let me check it twice. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> why, why, why can't we trust you, young man? Why do you say these harsh words to your, about yourself? Because people around me tend to get hurt. I don't make the best decisions. Well, are you crazy? Sometimes, I think. Okay. Hmm. And... I think part of my party was just fed up with me and they left me with a actual babysitter. 
Wait, what? Yes. Your party left you with a babysitter. Were, were you a baby? They would probably say I was acting like one. Oh. So you were acting like a baby. Hmm. But my actions led to some of them being killed. Whoa. Um. I didn't kill them. It's my negligence. Oh, well, um. Okay. Do I see him writing? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm writing, and I'm just sure, writing. Yeah, you see that. <laughs> what exactly are you putting in your book? I just have a just, just a just a list. He has a and tendency I, to I, write I keep, notes. I keep people, you know. I have a, a naughty list, and I have a good list, and I just keep track of who's naughty and who's nice. By their actions or by their stories? Oh, well, by a feeling. And what feeling do you currently have about me? I think you're a confused young man. More ways than one. But I'm not sure yet. I don't judge. Like I said, it's just a feeling. This is a personal list. I don't do anything with it. You know. Sometimes the people on the good list get things. Sometimes the people on the bad list don't. Just depends. So, yeah, I I did something really bad. You want to elaborate? Might might as well. I inadvertently mm -hmm. unleashed a shadow dragon upon the world. Oh shit, so this is all your fault. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for using that language. Santa Fein. I'm sorry. You're gonna be on your own naughty list. Uh, no, uh. Are we not allowed to curse around here? No, they no. don't prefer no, no, of course it. You, you can. That's just I don't. I don't so, often. Real quick, children. you unleash the dragon. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, he could have done that. That's too. That's too. No. How? How did you do that? I think he just hit his head. I think he's tricked. making it up. I was tricked. You were tricked into unleashing the shadow dragon of ultimate chaos. You know of this dragon? Well, look around. <laughs> Shadow <laughs> starts laughing. Everywhere. <laughs> because of this dragon, it all started with the dragon. So this is all my fault. Oh. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. You don't I remember guess. the past five now. years? I, if you five, are... Five years. It's uh, been five years since the Shadow Dragon has been released, right, Mordecai? Three, yeah. It's been bang, yeah. two days. Two days <laughs> for me. It's been two what? Days. Two days ago? I no. think. No, I think it's been longer. I, I look at Lord. Yeah, I think he really did hit his head. I think I you think are very confused, happened. young man. Mr. What do you think? What are you picking up, Lorraine? Mr. Swift, what is the last thing that you remember? After being dropped at the babysitters, <laughs> I decided to leave. I went to a bar, had a few drinks, and then I left. And now I'm here. Oh, you're missing something. You missed, you missed yes. something. Yeah, I don't remember yes. the <laughs> bar when we found you. There might be a gap in your memory there. Because we definitely didn't find you inside of a bar. Just, well, you forgot there's... about, you didn't even mention about the dragon. When did you unleash the dragon? Let's also touch on the fact, for Carter, you were in Sogbar, a desert island, and you are now not on a desert island. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you would know that. Yeah. 
I'm trying to be picky of what I share right now. Oh, I got you. Okay, okay. He shares his um, entire life you. story with that little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right. I'm gonna let you know at least a shadow dragon, but not that I was on a desert island. <laughs> <laughs> That's too personal. Yes. Partially because I don't know if Carter will remember the name of that island. Um. <laughs> Carter wouldn't, yeah. or you wouldn't. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Is is the shadow dragon still? Doing things? Is it taken care of? I knew it caused <laughs> all this shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show him the naughty list, and at the uh, top it says Ireland. the shadow dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it's been Apparently. five, five years, and it doesn't have a name yet. Wow, do we, we name we, it? We, uh, we, we have, we have, have we have a metal. Oh, you haven't yeah. met him. No, no, uh, I'm, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm a chick, I'm alive. I wouldn't want to. I've met him. Can and I'm take alive. him on. Well, you, you're the one that released him. Well, you so said you released him. Maybe he was grateful for that. No, he was definitely not grateful. But can we go back to that? How did you release him? Why did you release him? That's a better. You said, you were, you said you were tricked. Yes. Okay, do you want to elaborate? A person I loved who had passed, a party member, one who I bear some responsibility for their death, was speaking to me, and it implored me to take an action, moving a rod that would free their spirit. So I did. And let me guess, it wasn't their spirit. It was the shadow dragon. And numerous other shadowy things. And once that happened, yet another friend of mine fell. Whoa. This is a lot to take in. Wait, wait. You moved a rod. Is Just that what you rod. said? Just a rod. That's it. That's it. And that's what was keeping it you know, contained or whatever. I I really don't know how it worked. It just moved when I moved it. Though Maybe it should be missing us. a leg by now, isn't it? For the rest of you, Again? yes. For the rest of you, yes, yeah. you do know that it is missing yeah. one leg. Yeah, he's missing a leg. So it is the same dragon. Where was it last seen? Uh, DM. The sky? Yeah, in the sky. <laughs> the sky. The it doesn't, year stay, ago. it doesn't stay in one place. So it's all over. It's okay. Don't feel so bad. One time, I was tricked. Pip told me she found a really pretty flower. And she was like, here, it's in my hands. Look really close. And then she opened up, and it was a frog. And it jumped at me and scared me. But it's okay. So it you know, was, we get it scared was sometimes. Harmless, it was a harmless I mean, trick. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean that's what I mean. You know, and I wasn't mad at you for playing a trick on me. So I mean, you know, it's okay. So you, know, you get tricked. I've been wanting to kill this dragon, but they keep telling me I'm not allowed to yet. Why are you not allowed to kill the dragon? Uh, I think perhaps they're afraid because she'll I'm die. die. <laughs> yeah. Silly well. question. Don't we all die sometime? Yes, but you seem I'll to be to very focused on the people who have died around you. It's been almost everybody. But like, as you said, it. we all die eventually, correct? If you understand that, then just know that this will pass and you'll get over it. Maybe not today, maybe not a year from now, but eventually. It is just a part of life, and death is not the end. It all means something. These deaths, for example, have made you who you are today, yes? At the expense of their lives. But they were not without purpose, correct? 
Yes, a purpose that apparently is in vain because of all the suffering that's been endured. Not in vain. It just means it hasn't been rectified yet. Look to the future, not just right now. And apparently I tried to do that, but now I've wasted five years and look what's happened. I don't know that you wasted five years because you can't even tell us what you did for the last five years. I told you what I did yesterday. Darlin, what you said made no sense. And I'm letting you know, you're making no sense. Wherever you were, it was not here. Are we near a fire? Yeah, I'm cooking the stews over it. Yeah, yes. Cooking. <laughs> May I have an hour? To do what? I'm going to find some answers. I won't leave. I'll be right here. Oh, I mean, I mean you can you... leave if you wish. We just yeah, want to get you some help. Ass man. We were just not a prisoner. I'm oh, just worried about you. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, if you, if you, you need a sword or something, if you no. need a moment alone, it's fine. Need some light? No, I'll I'll be okay. I just need to be uninterrupted. Yeah. Alright. You you need us to go, or are you gonna go, or I'll just oh. be sitting right over here. Oh. Y'all can go about your lives. Let's I'll... why okay. You could you could sit in the sleigh if you want. No, I need to be near the fire. Oh, is they, there's some bushes okay. over there. Oh, um, you gotta stay by the fire, Mordecai. Uh oh, so we'll be careful because that's where I don't get burned. Really oh, all right, all right, to... everybody. He needs yeah. quiet. <laughs> Focus. Y'all can talk amongst yourselves. I, I just need to be in my thoughts for a bit. Saying I summon nibbles. All right. Have okay. Fun. Well, while you are in the process of doing that. Lauren, your very high passive perception. Uh, you hear rustling coming from several directions. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, Lauren, Lauren uh, stands up real quickly and looks around. She says, "Everybody, pay attention, please." What's wrong, she has darling? A look, a look of alarm on her face. She says, "I hear something." So that rustling up, up. just uh, kind of keeps getting closer, closer. You can't really tell what it is from the sound. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, well, no, nobody do do happens to, to have like special nighttime vision stuff, right? I think I do. Oh. Maybe. <clears throat> yes. Nobody has harsh vision for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> She'll like, it's she'll like look up to you head. and be, or she'll, she'll uh, go up to Santa Fe and she'll be like, can you lift me up on yep. my perch so I can look? What is he, Pip? <laughs> and uh, perception check. Yes. See if I do this right, because I'm not used to. Wow. Okay. It's Did pretty, it work? It's pretty good. Yeah. All right, so yeah. you got 22. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. <laughs> All right, so you get hoisted up onto Santa Fe's shoulder. And you're kind of looking around. You, you start to pick up on the rustling as well. And you just kind of catch some faint glimpses uh, through the trees of some feathered, large feathered wings. And then the um, rustling stops. Well, it... They, they kind of have feathers, but they look bigger than mine. Oh. Well, but I, I think they stopped. They Maybe they saw you? me? Hello. Oh, yeah. They look bigger than me, for sure. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? I can stab him. I can sneak whoa, up whoa, and stab whoa. him. Wait, they might not be bad. Yeah, maybe they just, you know, maybe, maybe they want some stew, but I didn't, Hello? I, didn't really, I didn't make that much more. Um, <laughs> okay, so you guys, uh, what do you, what's your plan of action here? What do you want to do? Right now I'm yelling hello. You're yelling hello? <laughs> yes, hello? Um, so you... 
you hear something uh, yelled back at you. Does anyone in <laughs> understand Infernal? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no, I didn't, no. I, didn't, I didn't take that collective. No? I'm just going to look down and be like, see, I told you. Okay, then you have no idea what you just heard. I mean, you understand that it's demonic oh, in draconic. nature. I know draconic. I won't help you here. Oh, okay. <laughs> you un you understand that it is demonic in nature. Oh. But that's, we might have some shit. that's as far as it goes. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound good at all. No. It don't like sound nice. More shadow monsters. Um, I want to fight shadow monsters. So, while you guys are trying to figure it out, an arrow flies straight into the fire. Oh. Uh. As Carter oh, well. Swift is trying to uh, meditate, not meditate, but summon his bear, his spirit bear. Oh God! <laughs> um, oh, great. Hey, can I can I cast identify? Nope, that's got to be my touch. Never mind. Also, I don't think that's gonna really help okay. in the situation. Also, since you're there, <laughs> oh, detect magic. Sure, you can cast Detect Magic. Yes, Detect Magic. I have a wand of magic detection. Okay. Um, yes. Your fr all the items on your friends light up. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear coming from straight ahead of you, since your character is facing that way, Santa Fenton. Oh. Something, it sounds something kind of authoritative, and you hear an answer being barked back in Infernal from behind Mordecai and Lauren. Further huh. back. At this point, I need y'all to roll me initiative. Alrighty. <laughs> want to make uh, I don't want to do that. Also, I don't I packed away my manual initiative tracker. Wow. Uh, I know, why right? did you do that? I know. We talk about you have an issue with it. You found the answer. And you're like, I'll put that away. Well, you know what? I cleaned <laughs> up my desk and packed everything away for when I moved. So it's all right. I've got a pen and paper because I'm not using Beyond's tracker. It's really pissing me off right now. Yeah, I don't want to miss yeah. it. It's, it's literally crashing every time I hit one of these creatures. Oh, that's not the right one. I didn't mean to hit that. Roll initiative. Yes, I did. Oh, I rolled really good. Yeah, I got a 19. Oh, no, you got a 21. Uh, there we go. Or 19 plus a 2. Whoa. Oh, yeah. What's the number next to it? Uh, I have it rolled twice, so in case he's twice. like, roll at advantage or disadvantage, I'll have to click it twice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so mine's just, okay, it's the same thing. The first one is your... All right, let me see oh, where we're at on advantage, or initiatives. Okay. Okay. Um, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. Multiple. Uh, Carter. Santa Fe 19. Okay, yes. uh, Mordecai, which roll am I using? The first one or the second one? The first one. one. Okay. The first one. The first one is always the initial roll. The second one, just in case. Oh, I didn't, I don't white roll twice. Did the first one, yeah, the 12. Huh. Weird. I don't know why I rolled that twice. See, though. that's why I was asking. I thought that oh, yeah. was second yeah. one was your bonus, but then still had another. Okay. Number. So Pip is 17? Yeah, I get to roll with advantage because of one of my daggers I have on me. Okay. Is it a dagger of warning? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's dope. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she Can't got a bunch surprised. of daggers. Okay. I also have the dagger of initiative. Ooh. Yeah, what? <laughs> Peter. 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 All right. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. So, Santa Fe, you get to go first. Yes. Okay. Um, we're going to sh shoot a firebolt out of my tip of my wand at this dude right here. Okay. Can we actually see them at this point? Um,. Yeah, they've kind of Ooh. revealed themselves, so... Okay. 21. Okay. Uh, that oh, is a hit. Hold it, it, uh, 12 fire damage. Um, okay. 
that bolt hits true and it seems unfazed. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Anything and else? I'm a, yep, I got dark out two attacks. So that did nothing. Oh, hold on. You have an extra attack? I have two attacks per action. Okay, so that only works for a melee attack. Not spells. Okay. So if you would have done a melee oh, okay. attack, you could do another melee. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, if you were a wizard that somehow okay. had, like, action surge, nope. you could cast two spells in one round that way. Okay, got you. Um... Okay, that's it then. Okay, yep. We, she is. Oh, I forgot to put her down. Okay. Uh, five, ten, fifteen. She is going to go up to this one. And is it on the ground or is it in the air? It is about... Uh... Where's the movement at? It's about 20 feet up in the air. 20 feet up in the air? Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, so she is going to... take her dagger and she is going to throw it up at him okay and did it go through well, um, 12 to hit 12 does not hit does not hit okay so you, you think... that dagger is now out of your hands, and you'll have to try yep. to find it. Yep, okay, got it. Anything yep. else? Nope, <laughs> it's my luck. Lauren! Um, okay, um... I got 60 feet, I've got this person behind me. Alright, so I'm gonna take my little guy, and... I need to move over, I'll move over anyways. Over here. And then I will cast, so let's see, we'll, we'll cast a, a Sacred Flame, I suppose. We'll go five. Okay. Um, you. And this is exactly I, uh, why I'm not using the tracker. Did it, <laughs> <laughs> did it crash? Yes, it did. Okay. Oh, no. So DC 18 save. Ooh. Or dex, right? Uh, yes. Come on. That's a high Gases. save. Oh yeah. That's how good she is. Easy. You said it's Dex, right? Uh, it says Dex 30. Okay. Uh, it made that safe. Ah, oh, bitch. Okay. Is, is there half um, damage or no damage? Uh, da 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 da. No, it just says you have to succeed on a Dex. Okay. That's all it says. All right. She's all right. All right. Your turn. Um, harder. Okay. Um, Fang, for my knowledge, do I know about my new stuff, or is that going to be new for me? Um, it will be new for you, more or less, but anything that needed attuned is already attuned. <laughs> yeah. You've lost the last five years. You have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah, so... Makes sense. Carter would stand up. Um, he would go to draw an arrow but there's no arrows to draw. <laughs> um, he'll look at his bow and realize it's not the same bow that he once had, but there's no bowstring on it either. So he is just going to take a sword, because he has that on hand, and rush over. Oh, oh. Uh, 20. That'll hit. Uh, so six damage. Um, technically, sneak attack would be active because Pip is there, right? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, eight damage, and I get two attacks per action, so I'll go again. Twenty-eight. 
25. That'll hit. Jeez, holy shit. Uh, 12, five, That's 17. If I'm not mistaken, sneak attack oh, only sneak applies attack once. Yes. Correct. Okay, uh, so 12. a total of 20 piercing. Yep. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, Mordecai. Uh, yes. Oh, is it my turn? Yes, Quick Lord. question. Um, so, Sound Defense, he did his Detect Magic or whatever earlier, right? Yes. Was he able to tell if there was anything magical going on with uh, Carter's bow? Uh, yes. And all your guys' magical items all lit up. Like anything at all any of us had. Yeah. Okay. And that was all, right? Their enemy, their nothing, nothing on them lit up, right? Uh, no. Okay. All right, so, um, Mordecai. What hour of the day? Is it still, like, light outside? I know it was, like, um, it was later in the day. I can't remember yeah, it's, at it's what start, point start. It's starting to get dark. Okay. Would someone without dark vision be able to see fine, or? Um... Campfire. Within within thirty feet of the campfire, I'd say. Okay. Okay. Um, I will go deal with these guys. I guess I will. Mordecai will bring out his Zimbatu Paul's big old ass sword. <laughs> Horse uh, cleaver. Um, yeah, fucking black ass blade with a silver edge, all that animation. All, shit. all right, Ichigo, calm down. Um, <laughs> and he uh, he's a run up to this guy. Um, let's see. I gotta make sure I do this right. So, bonus action I'm gonna use my fighting spirit, which is I get advantage on weapon attacks rolls until the end of my current turn, and I gain 10 temporary HP. Okay, and yeah, now we're starting. I'm gonna be like, I, we were just enjoying some stew. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we were. How many attack actions do I get? As a level 10 fighter, I think two or is it three? Two or three, I don't remember. Uh, you can attack, I believe it is twice. Yeah, I think I would have got my third one if you're one level hopping. That's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. All right. Um, and then I will use also because I did this, I will use my greater weapon master feed on this, whatever, which is where I can take a negative five penalty to my attacks. And if they hit, I get a plus 10 damage. Okay. So that would be advantage. That would be a 17. To hit the little dudes? Yeah, yeah the dude right here I'm next to you. That'll hit. Okay. This is going to be a plus 10 to this damage. It loads. So that is minus necrotic damage, because I'm not going to use that right now. Oh. Um, that is uh, 21 points of damage. Okay. Wow. And nice. I gotta see, can I do that at any attack or is wow. that one attack per turn? Hold on, let's go fast. Let me make sure I'm not breaking this. Uh, I can make... Before you make a melee attack with a heavy weapon that you're fishing with, you can choose. Okay, so I can do it as many times as I want. So my next attack, I'll do the same thing. I'll take a negative five penalty to this attack, um, which is a, that was 17, so plus a 19 to hit. Where? Where'd that 17 come from? So I get advantage, and then with oh. the thing, it is, oh, it's a negative advantage. 5 okay. to my attack. So 22 minus 5. I got you. Okay. It'll be 17. I'm, so this one will be 24 minus 5, which is 19. Okay. I'm following now. Yeah, that will hit. Yeah. There's a lot of, there's a lot of like, it's it's D&D 4th edition right now. There's so many modifiers. And that's another 21 <laughs> points of damage. I'm not going to use my, ne my necrotic wounding yet. Is the wounding automatic, or do you have a choice? I think I, ha I, think I have charges, and I have to choose to do it. Um, uh, oh, no, it's automatic. Anytime, every once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack using the magic weapon, you can wound the target. Um, at the start of each of the wounded, at the start of each wounded creature's turns, it takes 1d4 necrotic damage for each time you've wounded it, and it can make a DC 15 constitution saving throw at the end of the effect. So though, that, those fours necrotic will not happen until the beginning of its turn. And that's per wound, so it's... Elite. That's per wound, so, so we'll roll, so it'll be eight damage it'll take. Okay. And then it can make, after that, it can make a con save, and if it saves, it ends the wounds. If not, gotcha. it keep going. Okay. 
Uh, hey, and aw. then that is my turn. I can't do anything else. All right. Well, it's its turn, and it's going to take that eight damage. It's looking very rough. It'll try oh. to make that save. 15 con? 15 con, yes. It makes that. So its wounds are gone. Okay. Um, so before you stands, well, you know, very clearly a fiend of some sort. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of got this purplish skin, uh, and very long tendrils, basically, for beard, for a beard. And they're oh. spiked. Oh. And oh. it kind of just swings its head around a little bit and lashes out at you with said tendril. Hey, calm down, friend. Uh, <laughs> 16 to hit. That is a miss. Okay. And <laughs> as it comes back from swinging around, you see it twirling its glaive and it comes around with an attack. Oh. And that is a nat one. And, and somehow, oh. somehow it overshoots your head and just goes right over top. You're not even sure how that happened. Well, I'm, friend, I'm 7'7". Seven, seven. I'm, I'm not that hard to hit up here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you aiming for? <laughs> its turn is over. And this one is going to move in. Oi. And it's going to kind of do the same thing at you, Lauren. Why me? Coming at you with its beard. 17 to hit. Uh, no. And it twirls its glaive and comes at you with that. Uh, 7 to hit. Wow. All right. Uh,. Nothing happens there. So now the winged demon up in the air. Um, comes down after him. For throwing, oh, trying for the audacity oh, of throwing that dagger. Son of a bitch. Audacity. How dare it go after Pip? Right? Well, here comes an attack. Um, ten. And it ten misses. Hey. Comes back around. Oh no, it's coming back around with a twenty. Oh, no. Twenty to hit. Yes, it hits. Or ten points of slashing, and sixteen points of poison. Wow. Oh. That's so 26 ten... points of damage total. Okay, so, but... Mm -hmm. I can do uncanny dodge to take half that damage, correct? Um, Is uncanny dodge only for AoE? It just... <laughs> What's going it on? It literally just says when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to have the attack's damage against you. Okay. Um. Then yes. Yes, you can. Okay. I just want to make sure. <laughs> yes, you can. Okay. So she will react and take half that damage. Yo. Hmm. And now she's poisoned. Nope, she's not poisoned. No, okay. But there's another Thank attack God. coming. No, stop it. <laughs> 23 stop to hit. Stop you. 23 hits. Uh. All right, so it's 13 slashing and 8 poison. And unfortunately, you have used your reaction. Ew. And that awesome. will be it. Thirteen. For this demon. Antifant. Yes. It's your turn. Well, let's see how this sword does. I'm gonna move up here. What that sword And do? I'm going to attack with my great sword of life stealer. Organa has granted you all 10 HP from the milk storm. Uh yes, hey. that, that will it. Alright. That is, whoa, 
Don't know. Whoa. It says when you attack a creature with his magic weapon and roll a 20 on the attack roll, the target takes an extra 10. Okay. I didn't roll a 20, though. Right. So I don't know why it's adding that. Just so 11. Oh, you, uh, you ignore that. Oh, it's just telling me if I get mm -hmm. it, that's what it would be. Okay, so 11. Okay. Okay, and then I, now I can attack again with yes, this, sir. right? Is yes, it my sir. All right. Twenty-seven. Sixteen. Good, very good. Okay, very good, very good. Bonus action. Raining smite. Don't know what it is. Going to use it. <laughs> The next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack, before the spell ends, the weapon gleams with astral radiance and you strike. The attack deals an extra 2d6. Okay, so that'll be on your next hit. Okay. On any creature? Whatever you hit. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, and that will be another one point of healing from Fatal. Damn. That was a low roll, but still <laughs> appreciative. All right, Pip. Okay, so did he go back up nope. in the air, or did he stay down? She is still on the ground with you. Okay, sorry. She... Was that health we got just regular health? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. I don't. Thank you. So she had. Okay, so that one was done. Okay, so she is going to equip. Her other dagger, one of her other ones, she's gonna whip another one out. Um, and she is going to hit it. <laughs> See if it works. Um, it's not going to have the poison on it. So if it rolls the poison, it doesn't have the poison. Um, and that one doesn't the dagger of venom have it naturally um it says you can use an action to cause it oh okay to have the thick poison so gotcha it doesn't right now okay yes an eight does not hit that was in that one too so that's great oh even better so pip you are just upset that you got hit like that <laughs> And you are swinging that dagger wildly and you just try to like jam it into its feet and just like stab the dirt. Wait a second. Sneak attack gives me advantage, right? Oh, yes, because it does. Because of Carter. Yep. All I'm right. not used to playing a rogue. <laughs> it's all good. Roll advantage. Hey! 23 to hit. That will hit. Nice. Well, Okay, so Damn. five piercing and then eighteen for the sneak attack damage. All right. All right. Damn. You did the poison. Oh. Damn, you did that poison. Uh, you can, can you smell that poison? Can you tell that she is full rogue? <laughs> um, eleven points of healing from Fatal once oh. more. Oh. Fatal heard Pip get hurry. She's like, ah, spam milk. Spam it. <laughs> I don't know how much damage she took, but spam it! <laughs> Let me get my calculator out. And... You guys are doing crazy damage. <laughs> <laughs> my god. I think that okay. is it for Pip, too. Uh, then Jeez. that will be Lauren. Um, okay, this one is right near me, so I'm going to... God, freaking spells, man. Um, sorry. She's going to cast, uh, Inflict Wounds. Ooh. Oh my god! Over there. Okay. You're casting it at the second level? Second level. Okay. Uh, 24 to hit, correct? 24. 24 to hit, yes. Oh yeah, that hits. Okay, uh, that's necrotic damage of 27. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to level 10. I'm yeah, getting like 11. Like I'm doing something wrong. What it was? <laughs> Everybody's rolling over 20s on damage. All right. 
Damn. Um, anything else? Yeah. Um. <laughs> more. Do more. Do more. Uh, that was that was an action. Oh. That's all I got. <laughs> That's bonus action. Stuff. Okay, well. I don't, I don't have any bonus actions. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't. Um. So then it's Carter's turn. Uh, so, Fang, I regret to inform you that my whole last turn was invalid. <gasps> what? Because she was in the air. Yes. Oh no! <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> eh. Yeah, it happened, it happened. So Fang will adjust HP accordingly. Um, I'm going to go in swinging still. But I'm super pissed now. Yeah, but super pissed. Okay. Super pissed. So two attacks, and I'm also going to do an action surge, which gives me an extra attack. That's another two attacks, then, right? Um, at, yes, action surge grants you another action. So if we have two attacks per action, that's four different swings. Mm-hmm. Yes. But only one Correct. sneak attack. Correct. So I'll hit this button four times. Alright, hold up. Uh that first one's rough. Okay. Yeah. So you gotta let's see. Uh the first one is a definite miss. That's that uh, wood. Wait, wait. Oh, what can I use a lucky? Um isn't that automatic? And it you re-roll any one? Uh, lucky you have three points whenever I make an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. You can, you can use them whenever you want. I can roll additional 120 and choose the one I want to use. Okay, go ahead. Doesn't he also get advantage since uh, I'm yes, within five feet? He does. That's um, correct. For a sneak attack, I think it works a little differently. It says you don't need advantage if the person's in five feet to get the sneak attack. Oh, okay. Well, uh, but I will re-roll that one. So I'll just roll 1d20 on here for that. Okay. Yep, you get 16 temp HP. So Woo. the first one is a complete fuck up. None of them hit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you have advantage you on them. Me? I actually don't think I have advantage, though, um, right? He does not actually have advantage because he is not uh, flanking Damn. with anybody. For him to be oh, flanking, he would have geez. to be here or here. Oh, so he would have had to move. No. Um, anything else? Um, you still have your bonus be... action. Yeah, I'm going to use my bonus action to disengage. And I'm going to run up here and prepare to give some other help. I can't hit. Screw this. I'm out. Uh-huh. <laughs> Screw you guys. I'm going home. Uh -huh. <laughs> going back in the coma. We got this, kid. <laughs> Wouldn't that be some shit? Carter Swift just gets knocked yeah, out dude. again. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, Ordecai. Yeah. Um... I'm gonna. Um... Let's see it. Yeah, we might as well. I'll just. Um... Yeah, I'll just do. Um... Fighting spirit again. So I get advantage. And I'm gonna hit this guy. Alright, that <laughs> is not a natural 20. Okay, well that dirty 20 hits. Okay. I didn't say I was in the minus five, so I don't get plus 10. So this is gonna be 12 He's, points of damage. Um, how do you wanna do that? Yeah, I uh, I go, Fred, you you need to hit better. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Oh. Friendo. Well. And then Mordecai okay. deletes him from existence. Goodbye. Oh. I can only get. Oh, I can get there. I will run over. <laughs> are, are, are you are you like partially Ed from Ed Ed and Eddie? <laughs> because that sounded like Ed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, what your dose? Uh, let's see. Uh... I don't think 
I don't think I get an extra attack, because I think it's two attacks for attack action. Unless I can hold it? Uh, yes, it doesn't have to. It's like with the monk's okay. furry of blows, it doesn't have to be on the same target. Cool. Oh, cool. Then I'll run over here and be like, okay, I'm going to hit you now. Um, And I will use the minus five this time. I've got to specify last time, which is only a 15. That's not hit. Fuck, those are both bad rolls this time. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> So that's a miss. And yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Um, it is now the bearded devil fighting Lauren and Carter. It goes to try and hit you with its barbed beard, Lauren. Uh, let's see if it hits. Probably won't with a 15. Nope. And hey. seeing Carter run up, it goes and attacks with the glaive. 25 to hit. No, just kidding. But I will <laughs> use our luck to re-roll that. Oh, you can make him re-roll with that? Uh, okay. Or an attack roll made against you, yes. Oh, shit. So, do you, so how does that work? Uh, you roll additional d20, I guess. And I have yeah. to take the lower, or...? He, you, you roll their attack, and then he gets to choose which one you go with. Oh, okay. 22 to hit. I'll take the 22, but it still hits. <laughs> <laughs> All it. right, so... Uh, 10 points of slashing damage, and you are not undead or construct, right? Not that I know of. <laughs> okay. In five years. Uh, you will I lose... I need you to make a con saving throw real quick. Ooh, I got something for you. Reaction. Do I do it before I roll or after I roll? This how's your reaction work? It says flash of genius. When you or another creature you see within 30 feet of you make an ability check or saving throw, you can okay. use your reaction you, to add one plus four to their roll. So you are not facing Carter. Uh, okay. Damn. Rip. Alright. Carter makes the save. Woohoo! Hey. So just ten? Uh just ten. Uh, it is now the... I'm not even gonna try to say what the hell this thing's actually called. <laughs> try, give, give, me, give me a little taste. Give, Aaron, me a little, give me a little spice. Aaron, yes. <laughs> Aaron, yes. Aaron, yes. The Baroness. The Baroness. Aaron, Aaron. Damn it, Aaron. We'll kill you, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so there's three of you here now, and it's going to just start swinging. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 20 at Santafent. <gasps> yes. Uh, not a lot of damage. Five. Five slashing. Okay. And then, on top of that, 20 points of poison. Oh. 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 That's rough. You're, go you're going on the naughty list. Coming around to Mordecai. 19? 19 misses. Does it? Okay. And then coming back around at Pip. Oh no. I'm sorry, Pip. That natural 20? That's a oh, yeah, no. That's natural. Oh no. Oh, oh my shit. god. I'm going to <laughs> I'll do this too. I will reaction. also I will also I have a reaction for this. I have interception, so Mordecai will try to like, throw his sword in the way and I will reduce the damage by one D ten plus four. Okay. Nice. Uh, so that's 13 points reduced from that damage. Okay, well, let me see what that stream loot was real quick. Oof. Temp HP. Oof. To Santa Fe, you get 32 temp HP. God. Jesus Christ! Damn. Okay, Jesus. Wow. so here, here comes. Wow. Don't add anything up yet. Okay. Uh, well, you're you're good. I mean, Pip. Oh, oh, okay. I'm good, I'm full. <laughs> Okay. So, I'm assuming nobody has has resistance to poison right now. Just so that way it's easier to do the calculations. I don't think so. No. Okay. Mm. You have 54 points of damage total coming your way, Pip. Okay, is that with uncanny dodge? Uh, no, that's yeah. before anything. So half that. So half that. 
Okay. Half that. And then minus 13 from that if you half it. Okay. My okay. God, so you now have 14 points of damage coming at you. There you go. Oh. You've successfully <laughs> mitigated 40 points of damage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome Boy. to level 10, everybody. <laughs> This is this is this is what, gonna be this is gonna be a long two months. Okay, <laughs> thank God, thank oh God, my God, God. Your oh, geez. If we were lower level, that probably would have insta killed your character. Like, we yes. were like if you were lower level, you wouldn't be fighting that. Well, that's <laughs> true. You never that's know. True. I mean, I know. I'm the one who created the encounter. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, okay, here comes some <laughs> HP from Fatal. Ooh. Nine points of healing. Yay, uh, it's potato. top of the round, Santa Fent. All right, we're gonna do this. How is the, how is he looking? How are we looking oh. here? Oh, it's very. It, it looks fine. It's ready to tussle. It's whoa, fine. whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> All right, well, swinging this sword. Miss sixteen. All right, I will swing it again. Eighteen. So you come down to swing, and it parries with its reaction and just, just kind of upswings with its sword and slaps yours away. Oh, that's rude. annoying. Very rude. Okay. <laughs> well, then those were my two actions. Ignore that. Um, okay. Let me see. I use. Okay. So how does Brit? Oh, okay. So how long does branding sprite last? Oh, I see. It says up to a minute. How long? That's like oh, that's a, a while. couple rounds. That's okay. Ten, 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 ten. Okay. Okay. All right. So I don't have to cast that again. Uh, okay. So apparently, mm -hmm. the on its next attack, the Aaron yes has a minus five. Okay. Oh shit! Let's go. All right. Nice. Okay. So I um yeah that's I can't do nothing else. All right. Uh... I'm gonna throw a candy cane at it. <laughs> I should have gave you candy cane daggers or something to throw. We can work on that. Yeah, we can work. We can work on that. Peppermint for the next sticks. Session. Peppermint sticks. They're darts. Yeah. Yep. Yes. <laughs> we gonna work on some. All right. All right. Yep. Okay. So she notices that her friend is not doing the greatest with attacking him. So she's gonna come around to the other side. She is going to take out. Do you, do you consider equipping? Because she's got two weapon fighting, so she's going to take out another dagger. Um, is that a free action or a bonus action? You can stow or draw one weapon as a free action, if I remember correctly. So if you okay. already have one in your hand, then you can draw yeah. another. Okay. Um, so she's going to pull out the other one. So the first one she's going to hit with... Uh, with advantage. A 25 will hit. Okay. And that one will have sneak attack, but no poison. Okay, so 28 points. Uh, now real quick, because your two-weapon <laughs> fighting, that, mm -hmm. um, you don't have the dual-wielding perk or the fighting style, right? You just have the ability to do so as a bonus action. So yes, that, I believe so. That means you do not get your proficiency bonus, I believe, when you are making an attack. Okay, on the so second one, I right? take, on the second yeah. one. Yeah. Okay, so I take that my me. proficiency off my hit, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't add your ability modifier to the damage of the bonus attack unless it's negative. So right. you don't get any bonuses to your damage, but you still have the same ability to it to attack. The second attack. 14. Uh, roll that with advantage. And, yeah, I was going to say that's with advantage. Advantage will hit. Okay. And this is without sneak attack. Uh, Correct. And then it will be without the modifier. Right. So, so three. Okay. Three piercing. All right. Uh, and that is it. Uh, Lauren. Um, Lauren's going to go ahead and uh, cast the same Inflict Wounds again um, at the third level. Get out of here, motherfucker. 
She's hoping. Twenty-four. Ooh, spicy damage. Twenty-four. Spicy, spicy. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Carter, you have a free use of lucky. You may reroll any one Ooh. die one time, Oops. but you must use the new roll. Okay. All right, twenty-four to hit. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you want to do that? Hey. Ooh, my Yay. goodness gracious. Um, okay, so melee spell attack. Okay. Um, I don't know. She yells something real cool. <laughs> <laughs> Which is? You gotta, you gotta do a uh, speech from Brave. <laughs> <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing prepared for this. Uh, or she's like, fucking rude. Thank you. And she just, and she like shoots out her, her inflict wounds on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is gone. You've killed it. Delete, please. It rots away. And it is. That's, it. That's it for you. Disgusting, disgusting creature. Anything else from you? Um, she's gonna. I guess I'll move my my pretty boat over. Let's see, where was I? Yeah, I was here. Let me make sure that I can actually move that. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll move over here. Yeah. Should move. Um, I'm like trying to line line her up here. <laughs> Why not? She's just she's gonna she's gonna be over here, a little ways, and that'll be it. Chandra turn. All right, Carter. <laughs> He'll say to Lauren, "So I guess you didn't need my help after all." <laughs> and he'll run back over here. <laughs> you weren't uh, much help to begin with. <laughs> Some things never change. Oh, um, <laughs> So, two attacks with the sword. Okay. Uh, would these be with the advantage now since I'm flanking, technically? Yes. So, that's the first round of attack. What do we do? Uh, 24. The first one will hit. So, that's 12 plus 7 is 19. Okay. Second round. Did that go? No. Wait for it. Not. It, 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 it lags for some reason. Oh, that's too many. Ooh. Well, neither of those hit. Oh, I didn't see, okay. but they both missed. They I both tried. 13. What the fuck? What kind of luck is that? You do have your free lucky, so you can take your chance. I'll go ahead and do that. Might as well. See so you hit or you miss. So, yep. Uh, j basically, just re roll that d20 and you just use whichever roll was higher. Or no, this one you have to use the new roll, so... Yeah, 12, so, but it's plus things, right? Uh, so yeah, what, your whatever attack. your attack modifier is. Uh, plus 8. That so 20. will hit. Alright. So, do I choose which one of the two I use, since they're both 13? <laughs> no. I mean, you gotta... You would. I mean, I guess in this situation you would. Yeah. Um, I'll do the 11. Okay. That's my turn. <laughs> that was just odd. Like, okay. Uh, Mordecai. Hey. Oh, look. The, the human is, um, <laughs> over here. Hey. Um, I'm gonna, I have advantage, so I want to use my fighting spirit, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna slap him, and I'm gonna take some <laughs> minus five to these hits, <laughs> so I can do extra damage. So this is minus five, so that is a 17 to hit. Nope. Uh, roll it again with another minus five. That's even worse. That's a 12 to hit. Nope. Hmm. Action surge. Maybe <laughs> next. That there right? you go. Yeah, you can do that. Or oh wait, wait, wait! Is your fighting spirit a bonus action? Uh, I did not use it because I didn't need to. Oh, oh, right. Got you. Okay. And yeah, you can both. You can action uh, surge. There's a 3D dice in the board. Oh, there is. Wait, where did that come from? I don't know. It suddenly showed up. That's true. I got why that did that. Uh, there why was one that, that showed up for Carter when he yeah. rolled it manually. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My test hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna test them real fast. 
please wait as we are experimenting with. Uh -huh. Hey, hold what, on. What are you experimenting with? <laughs> nope, still didn't do it. Uh, oh. That's a 21 to hit. That will hit. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and I will use, because I'm going to pump as much damage, I will use uh, my ha Hunter's Half Plate. Which is we'll do uh, can use a a charge to apply an extra one d ten of damage. Woo. That's another nine necrotic damage. Uh, twenty one. <laughs> one and one. Um, is there anything else I want to use? I'm trying to think if there's anything else I had. I think that was just it. That can yeah, that's what for turn. Okay, so I'll go ahead and attack again. Isn't that doesn't that two happen for the necrotic? Yeah, that that, that, that too. Yeah, that too is for the thing. So it's a total of uh, it'd be I use a minus five, so it'd be a twenty. It'd be, that'd be twenty nine damage right there. Oh right, because the I uh, did the minus five. Yeah, the great like weight 29? weapon master. Twenty nine. Not oh, uh, not that being sla uh, necrotic. Um, and then we'll do it again. Another minus five because Yolo. Ooh, ooh. That is a 22 to hit. That'll hit. So that is 14 plus 10 is 24. Um, and I think I'll only do my half plate thing once per turn. Let me make sure before I commit to that. Because if I can, I will use it again. Because I got charges to use. Um, I'm not going to hit to my hit. So I'll do it again. I'll apply another 1d10. So an extra six, another six necrotic. Ow. So that's a total of 30 points of damage Ooh. from that attack. Um, also, if it matters, because I'm doing slashing damage and I have slasher, it has its movement speed is reduced by 10 feet. Oh. Um, and that is my turn. It's movement speed or it's walking speed? It's movement speed. So okay. I have slasher gives me two things. Whenever I hit a creature with an attack with slashing damage, I reduce movement, tar movement speed of the target by 10 feet until the start of my next turn. And if I score a critical hit, um, I grievously wound it. Hmm. Okay. So, oh, yeah. Um, it's the Aaron, Aaron yes's turn. Aaron yes, whatever. Aaron. And uh, it's looking very, very beat up. And it's kind of huffing and puffing and looking around and realizing that no matter what it does, it's probably screwed. <laughs> so it's gonna make a last ditch effort to attack. It casts self destruct. Yes, oh no! You all die. No. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> it spins around at you, Carter. Bring it on. Twenty four to hit. Yep. Oh, they brought it on. Um, but I will <laughs> use my final lucky on that. Oh, okay. Okay. That's smart. That's smart. Hopefully, it's lower. It's definitely lower. By how much? A lot lower. Okay. So, so oh. my hit. Oh. Uh, it's a six. No, nope, that's a miss. <laughs> 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 pretty low. Pretty low. Oh, um, six. It's gonna try again. Oh shit. <laughs> no, it's probably not gonna hit with that ten. Nope. And it's gonna turn and, and try to like thrust <laughs> and stab at uh, Mordecai. After all okay. that. Oh, oh, there we go. 23 to hit. That hits. Okay. Uh, 13 slashing and 13 poison. 26 points of damage. All right. That's it for its turn because it realizes if it flies away, it's it's boned. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Uh, Santafent. Me? You. Let's see if I could finish it. We can get Christmas. Inflict wounds level three. Do it. Yeah. Yes. Um, Twenty-seven. 27. Roll that damage. Nice. <laughs> um, it's five d ten. Did you wait? Did you say level three? Yes, it's I mean, five. I got a roll one. Yeah. Well, it's because it only rolled it once, right? Well, no, 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 no. no. Okay, no, it's, so it, it you rolled got a three d ten. Jesus Christ! Okay, and it got hold, a on. hold on. Two, four, hold and two. on. He, he cast again? it at third level, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he needs to go down to his third level spells and hit it at third level. Because he hit I it for first it level. There, but I don't have it there. 
Like I'm looking at spells in the third level and it's not on my list. Hold Are on. you sure you cast that third level? But I can cast it up to level. It says up to whatever level I can cast. Hold on, let me look at your spells. Which is three. Yeah, that's the what? That's weird. Interesting. Right? It says at higher levels, when you cast this spell using a spell yeah. slot two level or higher, the damage increases by one d10. And when you go to each third, slot level above one. And I have the ability to go to three. Hmm. But I don't know rolled? why. I, mean, I could just roll. Up. Can I custom roll five d10? That's what it would be. Um. The damage. And just click off a spell. Spell slot level three. Just go ahead. Yeah, just go ahead and roll the five d ten. Go ahead and re-roll it. Okay. Let's see where. Okay, Weird. I can do it in here. So d ten five. Roll this roll. Hey. Oh, we got virtual dice. Yeah, there. just we can't get it from twenty eight. Nice. Five d ten. It's twenty eight. It's how you want to do that. Hey. Yeah. Yay. Yay. What does inflict <laughs> wounds? What is this? Uh, uh, you touch it... them and you rot them away, touch basically. Him. It's necrotic yeah. damage. Okay. So, yup. I'm I'm just gonna pop him on its head with my trunk. Gunny, Gunny, <laughs> Gunny, Gunny. Pop his <laughs> ass away. Okay, I think you want to say that? Um, I'm gonna say, um... <clears throat> jingle all the way. <laughs> 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 oh my god. All right, so you bop it on the head and say jingle on the all the way, and it's it's gone. Killed it. Hooray! Good job, team. <laughs> if you loot, Carter, you're pretty useful, Carter. If you loot them, you don't find much except for like 250 pieces of gold amongst them. Only right now, I need that. I have 10 pieces of gold. <laughs> Uh, swiper, Pip. swiper, we'll swipey. Pippi, you need some money? Swiper, no, Pip would like to go find her dagger. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Both of them? Uh, let's see. Roll no, just me. one of them. Oh. Roll me investigation as you search for it. Oh, no. I'll help her. Okay. Oh, no. Roll with You're advantage. Help. Okay. I'll help, I'll help you find your dagger. Pip. <laughs> one went through. Oh my gosh. Oh no. no. Really? You're kidding. <laughs> it is it is lost. You cannot find it. Oh. Can you do like a detect magic thingy? Um I can oh, yeah. yeah. You know what? I can. I can. There you go. Thank do that. You. I have I have spell stock. I will cast detect magic. Yay. <laughs> and use my Does she see it? Can can we detect uh, <laughs> Santa Fent can see it. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> okay. I will retrieve it. Hey. Uh, <laughs> all the way over here somewhere? Yep, you found it right there, right where you went. Yeah, it's yeah, like you were right psychic. Exactly. All right, we're going to go back to the green screen for dice rolls. All right. What dice rolls? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Dice rolls. Exactly. Hush. Hush. <laughs> <laughs> so used to us being there. <laughs> All right, uh, you find the dagger, and you guys kind of recoup after that. Oh my gosh! How so, how is everybody you. doing? Is there any more stew? I'm, I'm a, I got okay. hurt. They hurt. They hit me a yeah, lot. Yeah, I got some. I got some. I'm more good stew. now. I just want uh, some stew. Mordecai, you go over to fetch the stew, and some the the pot's been overturned. <gasps> oh, no. no, not the food. <laughs> Mordecai did run across it when he went to go fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Screaming about a buttered toast. That's unfortunate. Does this happen often with you all? Well, uh, with the shadow stuff popping up and trying to kill us? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you know, ever, ever since the shadow dragon was released, does his minions and shit come after us? Yes, all over. Yeah. Seriously, where the hell have you been? I, I was in a bar. I'm, I'm so confused. There must have been we some know. bar. And does it rain milk for you all too, like it did? Sometimes. What's well, milk? Everyone, every once in a while. <laughs> this just gets stranger and stranger. Milk, Mordecai, the thing that comes from the cows. 
Well, I mean, it came from it the clouds. The Is there I cows in the clouds? <laughs> How Darling. would you explain it? Cow gods. I Darlin, it can shoot like fire and shit. I, you know, it's not exactly, you know, suspensions of disbelief or anything. Shall I try what I was doing again, or are we going to be ambushed once more? I will well, keep a lookout. Uh, the rest of us will keep a lookout. All right, Carter. Mordecai, we'll try I'm so once sorry more. about your stew. Yeah, I forgot okay. you were. It was really good. It was good. Thanks. Okay, so you try to summon Nibbles again? Mm-hmm. And you do. <laughs> and, and, and Nibbles uh, <laughs> appears before you as a small spectral bear cub. All of you see that. What is going on? Whoa. Nice. And you see him, you see him immediately start talking to it. <laughs> they can hear him, though, right? Or no, it... it's telepathic. No. Ah, yes. It's like a bear, like an actual bear. It's a bear cub. Cozy-looking bear, bear cub. cub. Yeah. Okay. It's blue. Blue, a blue bear cub. Huh. Pretty neat. Nibbles, what's been going on? When was the last time you summoned me? <laughs> I thought a few days ago, but they're telling me it's been over five years? Nibbles kind of just looks around and then looks back at you. Oh, Santa Fent. Okay, I got to do this real quick. Oh, shit. No, no, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> okay. Santa Fent grows 10 years older. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I think <laughs> someone's oh, a little salty away. about that still. <laughs> no, uh, it's it's the good roll this time. It's the uh, prolific bag of holding. Hey. Hey. Yeah, so let me... Uh, so before you appears a special bag of holding. I don't think we... Summon nipples? We could summon nipples out of it. Prolific. Nipples? We could do it. Nipples? No, no. She, nipples. she said nipples. Is that where the milk comes from? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nipples, evil twin. <laughs> his evil twin is yes. nipples. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so we haven't officially described what the bag of the prolific bag of holding looks like, but it's, it's it says it says in the car it's a bag of holding shaped like a cloud. Oh, does it say shaped like a cloud? Mm -hmm. Appears. Cloud? Bag, okay. bag of holding shaped like a cloud appears. Uh, cool, I don't remember putting that. Big red sack. <laughs> because, <laughs> big because, red sack. because we're not doing big red sacks. So, <laughs> big red in front of you sacks. appears a cloud-shaped bag of holding. Okay. You reach inside and you pull out. Oh, you got a rare treasure. Ooh. Let me get my D100 out. Nice. Oh, D100? Oh, uh, and you all explode in the fire. No, I'm kidding. Common. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, so I will have to create this item because I think almost everything on this list is homebrew. Okay. Uh, you pull out a, sh a bone staff that has a human skull on top of it that has a Ooh. large red crystal in its mouth. Okay. I don't, what? Think, that's, I don't think that's okay. Whoa. So, can I, I, uh, real quick, I'm looking before, at it, can't. Before we okay. continue with Nibbles, is there anything Santa Fent wants to do? The large red crystal looks like it can be removed. I... Oh my goodness, out of a skull? Yes, out of the skull's mouth. I will remove it. Oh, okay, okay, no, okay. No. Indiana Jones, no. It's okay, Indiana it's okay. Jones, Hell yes. <laughs> All right. So. After a second of you removing it, the skull just starts spitting and sputtering. Just, oh, ah! Holy shit. Looks around. It's, holy shit, I can finally talk again. Whoa, what are you? Whoa, hold on. You guys aren't dead. This is different. It's no. a bob. bob. We are very much alive. Is it Noah Box? It's, it's a bob. <laughs> I don't, I don't think my bob. name is Bob. I don't know what my name is. Anyway. Oh, yes. no, Harry Dresden. People in here. Okay, let's go. Cool. Thank you for removing <laughs> that. I love to talk. What are you? Um, it kind of just uh, like yeah. as best as it can, just looks around. Just it looks like I'm a skull on a stick. Yes. What do uh, you do? I can talk to dead things. Really? And apparently the living. Do we all hear this? Yes, it is. Like its mouth is moving. It is talking nonstop. Just a skull. Talk to all those right. dead things. Have it talk to those dead things. Well, there, did yeah. we banish them? They're not there. If. 
if, he if it's talking to us. Are they dead? Did he banish them? They're just dead? Wait. Are we dead? Uh, no, no, you're, you're not, not dead. You're not dead, <laughs> silly man. You're all still alive. Very much so, in fact. No. Kind of disappointing. The dead have more fun stories. How do you work? Oh. I talk. With its mouth? You... We can use this to our advantage. You bring me to the to dead, dead and I talk to them. All right, let's see. Do Are those bodies of those things here? Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. See if they let's, have any information. Let's take him to over there. Okay. I know Captain Captain Swift is. Okay, so you go, you take, <laughs> Santa Fe walks over to the Aaron, yes. With and the just staff, yes. Holds the staff up to him and you just see the staff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, interesting. Okay. The staff kind of turns in your hand goes, I have no idea what it's saying. <laughs> I don't understand this language. <laughs> Damn. Jeez. What about the other one? Yeah, it's about the same thing here. I don't know uh, this language. Oh, jeez. All right. Well. So an amendment. You can talk to the dead, but only yes, if you know the language. Basically, yes. Okay. Also, they can and still lie. Well, yes. Oh, it, okay, that's true. Also, they uh, that tend to not sense. like me. Uh, why? Me as in who? So, like, if we come across some undead, like, I don't uh, know, zombies or skeletons, the undead doesn't, don't like I, they're, you. they're probably still going to attack. I tend to piss them off. Okay. Ooh, nice. But we could communicate with them, mm, which yes. would be advantages. And it, All right, you're coming with us. So how about you hide him in a bag or something? Yeah. I'm so you put him in a bag and he's still talking through the bag. Like oh you get Lord. the feeling you now know why that gem was in its mouth. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I get it. Put it back in. Can we put it back in? Is it a loud noise where it's bugging us? If he's oh uh, yeah, in it's the constant the like sack? muffled talking through the sack. Oh my god. You guys, do we put this? Well, yeah, I think, I think we should put it back. All right, I'm gonna stick the gem back Obviously. in its mouth. Oh, that's as weird. you do, it just kind of becomes inactive. That's so weird. Yep, yeah, that oh, this wow. is what it is. This is gonna come useful. We could talk to dead things. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick this back in the bag. All right, that's fun. That's a fun one. Beautiful. All right, so back, all right. back to nibbles. Back to nibbles. Back to <laughs> so you guys are all watching that nibbles never move from the fire just kind of staring at all this Carter you walk back over to the nibbles and he goes where's the others where's nibbles wasn't around during most of what happened before you left right mm -hmm. no where's drogos where's where's what was his name what was the crazy one which Shade... one Shadel? where's Shadel? or the moody one seven where's that one at they're no longer here. Well, why not? I I really haven't seen you in five years. I don't know. I don't even know when it was you last summoned me. Last I knew, we, I think we were still around Arathor or on the boat, one of the two. But you haven't seen me since then. If that was the last time you summoned me, then no, I haven't. This is very strange. Are you okay? <laughs> You know I'm dead, right? You still have feelings. It doesn't affect me either way if you summon me or not. It's I'm more... not asking if you're okay with me being summoned. I'm asking, are you okay as a individual? I'm the same as I was last time you summoned me. Mm. <laughs> Can I borrow that gem? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Remember what happened when you tried to give me cake? You tried to eat it. it made you feel like a fool, didn't it? <laughs> nah, who, who's the one who was trying to eat fake cake? Oh, I knew it wouldn't work. <laughs> so you're just trying to be mean to me. <laughs> Maybe that's why we haven't talked in five years. Yeah. Anytime you summon me, I just end up getting hit by your friends anyway, so. These people seem kind of nice. So what happened with the others? Where are they? Why are we some, not with them? Some are dead. Some are alive. 
and some could be dead or alive. I don't really care. Are you uh, just saying this in your mind? Are you just telepathically relaying this, or are you actually saying it out loud to him? He's saying it out loud. Okay. So all of you hear that as he's talking to his <laughs> ghost bear. Yeah, uh, we... I, I, look with everybody else, like... Mm, I, I know he's kind of strange. Kind of <laughs> I, probably. I'm trying not to be nosy, but I'm being a little bit nosy. So I'm, like, trying to see what he's saying. Are you being trunky? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can I sneak my trunk closer? <laughs> <laughs> So, um, but yeah. So you, so did you, did they leave you? Did you leave them? What happened that you aren't with them anymore after risking your lives for each other for so long? They, it just didn't, I can't be responsible for anyone else dying. So I made the choice to leave. Who died? Drogos. Ow. Uh, a, a giant shadow dragon that's still very much around, apparently. And how is this your fault? How are you responsible for this? I don't like reliving this yet again. But I moved a rod, and then the dragon came. Okay, why did you move it? <laughs> because I thought Sam was asking me to. And whenever I try to do the best things, people end up dying. So I did the only thing I could do, and that's leave. And now I'm here. I then, don't really know where here is. And then what? What happens next? Are you just going to leave these people? I don't think it's safe for them to be around me. Well, I suppose that's... And is it safe for you to be around me? You just vanished, so I'm assuming it's safe for you. Sure, it's just annoying. I'm willing to take that risk to be oh, I, I, don't, you. I don't mean the vanishing part you're breaking up thing I don't mean the vanishing part either oh you just mean that I'm annoying yes you complain and whine all the time about people yeah. who want the best for you did they want the best they kept you around and risked their lives to make sure you were alive didn't they did they, though? I mean, one was mending doors. Okay, well, that one had his own problems, and we both know that. Mm-hmm. I miss them. But there's not much I can do about that now. Make your peace with your decision. I don't think there's a way to go back. There may not be, but you have to accept what you've done. What does that even mean? Well, what is it you did that you feel guilty for? Apparently I killed half a planet? <laughs> That's pretty significant to be guilty for. Can I interject here? Yes, also you are only hearing his side of it. <laughs> You don't yeah, hear the I'm bear a, at all. Like I'm I hear his, on his side in my like, notes. <laughs> I, hear his side. I got a bunch of questions after after this. Uh, Mr. Uh, Swift, if I may. You can call me Carter. Sure. Uh, so, Mr. Smith. Mr. <laughs> hold Smith. on, hold on. I don't think this music fits the situation. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mordecai stoking the fire? Okay. Okay, so while this is going on, we're just focused on Mordecai, just like <laughs> wanting to remake his stew. Oh, I can't wait to get some more You're making stew. some more stew? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yes. More stew. I'm making, no, I'm making cornbread. Ooh. Well, that works too. Okay, okay, so 
Back to Lord. M Mr. Swift, if I may. You seem to be taking a lot of responsibility for the things that are happening right now. Because, you know, you released the Shadow Dragon and everything, right? But you didn't... You're not causing all of this. That thing is, its minions are causing all of this, not you. That's like saying, if a woman gives birth to a child, and that child goes up to go and murder a bunch of people, that we should hang the mother. Does that sound correct? I would use maybe a different analogy. If you the cut the wheels on a carriage, and then someone else drives that carriage and it wrecks, are you not responsible? Well, a carriage now is not a living being, but this dragon is, and its minions are, and they can do what they want, and they've chosen to do all these things, correct? Now, the wagon, you've hurt it. Yes, sure. Now, the person who is riding it, maybe you should probably look at your fucking wagon before you take it somewhere, yes? I, s I suppose you're right. Oh, I'm saying you're taking, a, you're taking a lot of responsibility for things, and I don't think it's, one, doing you any good, and two, kind of a little hard on yourself. I As I said, learned. past is the past. We learn from it, and we move forward, and we make better choices. Now, you know, if the next time you go somewhere and somebody tells you to move a weird <coughs> rod or whatever, maybe don't do it. Think about it for a moment. Sam, Sam, ask him who Sam is. But, I have no idea what you're While they're whispering to each other, uh, <laughs> Carter, you hear nibbles in the back of your mind just... Are you really going to hold yourself responsible while you were being emotionally manipulated by, by what you thought was Sam? By my own decisions, yes. I think I have a lot to learn, but it still hurts. And I've been here, what, a couple of hours with you all? Days before I woke up, I suppose? And already that owl creature almost died. I mean, I'm still alive. Yeah, I'll put a timeout on that one. Just that don't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> How does that? What does that have to do with you? Do you think the things we fought are affiliated with that shadow dragon? We fought like 14 of these things last week. Still, as a result of something I did. A long time ago, apparently. I'm, I'm sorry, are you the leader of all these things? Are you telling them to do these things? No, but I opened the door for them. It's yeah, not... no, I mean, you let out the shadow dragon, you fucked up. But, I mean, that's like, that's it. And now, what, what do you want to do about it? What's going to make you jolly? What's going to make you happy? Stopping it? Do you want to stop the shadow dragon? Do you have a dead shadow dragon in your large sack? I mean, I, have, I haven't fought the dragon, but maybe we can find some information and fight the dragon if you want to take down the dragon. I wouldn't maybe. ask that of anyone but myself. I mean... Look, Adder, what are you looking for? What is it you want? You have to find your happiness. I miss my friends. I miss my family. Okay. Well, would finding them make you happy? Mm. I don't even know if they'd want to see me right now. Well, you don't know until you look for them, do you? Yeah. By not By not looking for them, you're not giving them a choice, are you? You've already said it's been, what, five years? And people die just like that in five years. We've been <laughs> around. We're still alive. There's nothing to say that they're dead. They're just they not here. Maybe they have. Maybe they don't know where you're at. Exactly. I, I don't That's know you. where exactly I was. I couldn't point it out on a map. I don't know where I am now. I don't even know a first step. The first step is eating more of Mordecai. What are you making now? Cornbread, you said? More cornbread. Yeah, I uh, use some corn and milled it 
and I found <laughs> this uh this this honeysuckle stuff and I put it in there and it's gonna be sweet. All right, the first that step sounds delicious. is eating more Takai's delicious cornbread. Your next step is going yeah. to get rest, get yourself back in order, healthy again. And Maybe then make tomorrow, a list. we just start off. Just go in a direction. That's all you have to do. Mm -hmm. Just a step in any direction. It doesn't matter which one, because you don't know which one's the correct course anyways. So all of them's the correct course, as far as you're concerned. But you'll have to take the first step. If this is what you want. But I think Santa Fe asked you a very important question. What <laughs> is it that you're looking for, besides your family and your friends? Are you wanting to try to rectify what you've done? What you think you've unleashed upon all of us? Or yeah, are you okay. just okay with this and just want to live with the guilt for the rest of your life because that is I a choice i set off to rectify what i did right. but then now, we do both at the same time there's that word again we well you're gonna help do it alone here. you just you just met me i just met these fellas a few years ago you think we all just like came together and instantly became friends of course we didn't they were all strangers at one point Mm -hmm. Everybody's maybe, maybe, a stranger at one point. Maybe we're like a good plan, you know. It maybe you know, with some planning, we can definitely make a plan to try to. I don't know if anyone's attempted to stop the shadow dragon. I mean, I'm sure people have, but obviously they Anybody's haven't succeeded. Been able to pin it down. down. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we could get some more details on it and go from there. <laughs> That's one step. Maybe we what get information on your friends. That's exactly. another step. Yes. Make One of list. the reasons why we're trying to look for Captain Swift is so that he can help us rectify this whole situation. Now, if you help us, you'll also be helping yourself. Yes? So? It's mutual. To, to the next first step. To the next first step. You're here. Now, can anyone tell me where here is? Um, we're what, almost to Arbin. What's this Arbin. called again? Yeah, what's this place oh, called again? Content. DM? Yeah, I mean, it's in your notes that I sent it's you guys, but... Notes. Yep, it sure is. It's in that group <laughs> chat, it really is. You do that stuff that I wrote down? What? Yeah. No. Okay, the we're continent. heading to Arvin. <laughs> You're heading to Arvin. I know Arvin. Yes. That's we're all I know. That's not the Odessa. continent. Okay. Yes, the continent all right, is... Alright, you go. Adesso. Adesso, that's oh, right. Adesso. The providence is Olufsin. Yes. Ooh. I low-key took every one of those names from equipment at work. We are... <laughs> <laughs> We're in Odesso. I work. Odesso? Really? Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Been here before? I think I, I may have grown up here. Oh. Well, what do you mean may have? I mean, it probably you, doesn't look the did same. You not. I I grew up here, but I'm not. This doesn't look anywhere like home. Oh yeah, no, you nothing's gonna look the same. Like Shadowfell took over everything, almost yeah. everything. Mm. Well, what what town are you from? It Do was, you remember? It was a small place. It was called Lurwick. Have you heard of this? Have we heard of this? Have we heard uh, of this? Have we heard of this? <laughs> We've been you traveling guys, these lands for five years. You guys do not know every town mm. in okay. the in Adesso or the different providences. Okay. Okay. So you know of a couple different providences, such as uh, the big two. You guys have mainly been around um, Alufsen. Another one that you know of that's neighboring is Sutton. Would we have a not a map of this, like a common <laughs> map of the area? Um, you would think that a group traveling would, but right now you do no. not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Maybe we'll find Carter, a map in town. Carter, as his memory is being jogged, would eventually remember that it's around, like the Providence, and yeah. where his town sits. Okay. He said it was Lurwick. Lurwick, yes. Lurwick. L-E-R. 
I haven't heard of it personally, but maybe we could find a map. Perhaps the town y'all are heading to will have some place that could tell us. Yes, I'm quite sure. That by step. Maybe. Yeah. Someone has to have heard of this town. Well, you can look at this as a lucky break. At least you're in the same continent that you grew up in. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here. So maybe it's fate. It could be a sign. One of the things on your list was to see your family. I miss them, but have they missed me? Look, Only that's a different question. Out. That's a you, you, one step at a time. Don't worry about that just yet. Step one is finding them, right? And then step two is talking to them and then seeing whatever from there. Just one step at a time. The first thing we got to do is find out where this town's at. And it's like just a list, you know? Go down the list. Step by step. Don't think too much into the future. Carter Shadow, is... Shadow Falcon uh, kill us tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. He, he, Carter is sitting by this the fire. Um, there are tears in his eyes, but they're not sad tears. Uh, for the first time, he thinks that... Not the first first time, but people are genuinely being nice. Um, and they want to help. And he's trying to see futures that may exist. Oh. I give you cornbread. <laughs> Cornbread's ready. Tip's <laughs> gonna Tip's gonna kinda like look at him and feel bad. And then just like stealthily just like inch closer and closer to him until she's just like snuggled up next to him and like kind of like calming mm -hmm. sick i hear part of me wonders if like pip has this stare like i'm doing this to be boots. nice i'm doing this to oh. be nice yeah, so i'm doing this boots. to be nice <laughs> <laughs> Probably. A little bit, a little <laughs> bit. He he kind of stole some of her her stabbing damage earlier, so she's a little miffed, but <laughs> she'll get over it. Carter reaches <laughs> down and I guess it would be between the ears, scratches. Does she? Yeah. Owls have ear yeah. holes. Owls have ears. Yeah, have have ear holes. holes. It's, just, it's just on top of yeah. her head, probably. Mm -hmm. Just little little scratches. Scratches. <laughs> she'll like. <He> <laughs> Begrudgingly, okay. just like, like, lift her head into his hands. Why am I letting this happen? <laughs> <laughs> I can't find the yeah. steel. Oh, um, love. Carter will look at Nibbles, but then decide not to try to pet him, too. <laughs> <laughs> so three, the three of you are just watching do this like you all know that's not her nature <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying guys I'm trying <laughs> it's amused by I her I see I see <laughs> all right so uh you guys if nothing else turn in for the night and then for now oh yeah have a long rest I have a list of questions for Carter, but maybe we save them for another day. Save them for the Can morning. Save them, them the for road. the travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is this a, a long rest or a short rest? Uh, long rest. You're going to rest through the Woo! night. Yay. Can we take one? Um, probably. I think I have something. Let me see. No. Never mind. Let's see. Oh. This. Oh, don't you have a deck? Oh, is that the, the one you? Is that the one you threw? I mean, you, you found, it found it. You found it first. Oh, oh yeah. I, yeah, you found it. Oh, for so me. we have that. We have That's that. True. Yeah, it will yeah. wake us if there's an, any danger around. Within you thirty feet like, of the right? dagger. Oh yeah, within thirty feet of it. Okay. Carter would like to do something before going to bed. He would need someone's help though. Maybe I hope. Um. Would you ask? Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's a simple thing. It's something we kind of covered already. He'll bring out his bow 
and kind of look weirdly at it and ask if anyone knows what this is. Oh. I'm going to reach out my trunk and grab it. Carter <laughs> lets that happen. Trunk. Okay. I'm guessing Santa Fe's going to identify it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have that spell. So you utilize your identify. Yeah. You and help. you... I'm going to put this in beyond 20. I didn't want to roll it. You rolled it. Did it. All right. So ignore all that. You, uh, as you identify, you realize another artificer made this. Ooh. Um, and I you gather, made it. you gather that it's uh, basically a sun blade turned into a bow. Ooh. Okay. Uh, mm. it creates its own string as he goes to draw creates an arrow made of light as well both the, both the bowstring and the arrow are made of light um and he could still very well utilize uh magic arrows or normal arrows but they will be destroyed in the process what he said <laughs> boom i tell you and basically everything else <laughs> that you can read in your inventory yes. <laughs> Could I tell which artificer made this? Is um, there like a some kind of tag that he it puts on it? I don't know what the tag would be. There's but... a sticker that says like a little made stamp <laughs> made by made by or like made. a signature, right? Yeah, like, like, a like a sign, a, like a sigil or something. Yeah, uh, whatever, yeah. whatever yeah. said sigil or signature would be, it would be okay. Irvin. And for some reason, you equate that name Irvin. with explosions immediately Ooh, okay not oh, necessarily good explosions <laughs> okay no no that's cool but maybe i could have a chat with him and maybe I, you know all right okay yep do you so let me is... know that name yeah yeah oh uh, uh, yeah 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 everything he said i'm like saying it back i'm saying it he is my identify spell it just says it all out loud <laughs> Carter plays with the string of the light bow and just see if he gets it to work. Okay, so you you hold the bow like you normally would and you go to draw like as if you had an arrow knocked and ready and a, a string of happens. light appears and a light arrow forms. Boom! Hit that tree. Shoot it. I'll, I'll aim at the tree and let loose an arrow. Roll to attack. Oh, this is going to be sad if I miss. It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, wouldn't it just be one? Womp, womp, womp. Ooh. Okay, okay yeah. so you hit for 16 points of radiant damage. Yay. Okay. Hmm. Like, take the chunk of the tree out. Um, the damage seems a fire. bit off because I thought it was supposed to do regular longbow damage and then 1d8 on top of it oh uh, so you might have to do some more adjustments um i will have to have the artificer make those adjustments <laughs> as the artificer made this and yes. beyond i can mess with this though you can mess with this i'm an artificer as well Oh, no, no, I meant, I meant like legitimately. I, I have to have oh, him edit it. Oh, in... fix it. Oh, <laughs> you guys made this weapon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and beyond. Got and... you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, even still, in character, I am an artificer. So technically, I can adjust this as well. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. In game. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Maybe. Theoretically. Uh, theoretically. Theoretically, so right. maybe something happens to it. He could like mend it or something, or break it. We'll see. Or break <laughs> it. You never know. Tinkering with things that you didn't make. Yep. I'll give it back. Well, I already gave it back because he yeah. shot it. Yep, yep. Oh, nice. Carter will also cool toss over the sword. Oh, because that looks else? new for him too. Okay, sure. I'll identify this sword as well. Um. Lick off it's just, it's just a flame, flame tongue rapier. Flame tongue rapier. And it has a special word to make it go on flames. 
Yeah, you get to set that word. Yeah. So I'll, I'll think of the word and we'll say that you told me the word. <laughs> Flame on. There, done. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. And that flame word is a bonus action? I believe so. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> That's some nice weapons. Mm -hmm. I think I may know where they come from, but I don't know how I got them. I thought it would Bless be impossible. Blessings upon blessings upon well, blessings. Well, maybe we can go there one day as well. And get some more weapons. Maybe I'm not as alone as I thought. Not with us. We're good. We're going to get some rest so we could go to town. Get some star getting some info. Yes. Rest, please. Rest, yes. please. Yes, yes. All right. Good night, everybody. No. Well. You guys go to sleep. Night passes with no issues. You wake up, you tear down camp, and you get a move on after breakfast. Um, part of Beautiful. my cooking thing, since I took a long rest, I will make four treats. I'll make cookies. And I will each give you a cookie, and you can eat this cookie as a bonus action, and it will give you four temporary HP points. <laughs> I get a cookie. Ooh. I'm eating my cookie right now. How many? Oh, How you many? Have, you each I get, get four, one. four. You get HP? one cookie, and you get four temporary HP. All right. No, no, I'm all. Yep, yeah, I'm eating my cookie. Oh, I already right. ate you it. You get four Zorn. temporary HP. What does the cookie look like? It uh, it looks like. A very, it looks like a weird, like blob, and it mm. was meant to be a bear. Mm. <laughs> Lauren, do you perform your <laughs> dawn ritual? Uh, yes, she with has your, with, to with your tea perform set. her rituals. Yes, that's part of her okay. her morning rituals Ooh. with with the dawn. Okay, Please we make would, we would know this, right? Uh, uh you yes. know that she she performs okay. a ritual every morning. Yes, and she right. makes so, she makes tea at. Dawn and Twilight, okay. or is it one or the other? Uh, she does it both. Okay. Please make me a religion skill check. Do 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 religion. Uh, 22. Okay. Well, before anything else, will anybody be ta partaking in said tea? Yes, I would oh, be yeah. taking one cup of tea every morning with my big ass trunk. Okay, so so... <laughs> Everyone yes, but Carter. Ben. Okay. You wanting tea, Carter? Card. Oh, he doesn't know about the tea. Carter, come join us for tea. Is it's this very a... good for you. I'm not going to force him to do anything that he doesn't want to do. It is really good it's tea, just, though. It's just I've, tea. I've never Some had people tea. People don't like tea. Try it. We'll still, you just spit it out if you don't like it. <laughs> it's I true. don't want to be I... rude. Okay. I well, won't be offended. You've never tried tea one before. Time. If you don't like it, then don't swallow. Yeah. It's all right. She's not gonna <laughs> kill you. Spit, don't swallow. Never let anybody tell you have to swallow. Okay, you don't. <laughs> I mean, why would you not swallow your food if you're trying to have a calorie deficit? You might not like it. Mordecai's, it has Mordecai's like, are, what's a calorie? What are, what are calories? <laughs> That's you're allergic to. You didn't realize. Okay. You know, various um, reasons. And Carter will join. Okay. So first, since you guys all long rested, okay. everybody's temporary HP reset. Mm -hmm. um, Unless you eat the cookie. Until you eat the cookie. Well, now oh, we right. have plus four. Well, if you ate the cookie. that can change. The oh. cookie lasts for eight hours. So during Lauren's tea ritual if she succeeds on her skill check you guys i mean you guys get temp hp period if you join however okay. if she succeeds you may get a bonus Ooh. so lauren would you please roll the d12 for temp hp to see if it's something they would rather have than the plus four it since they don't combine oh. just one d12 right yes yeah. and then roll on that table for uh -huh. the temporary boon Okay, D12 is an 8. Yep, okay, so 8 temp HP. Obviously better. And then a D6, which is 4. You uh, gain 15 feet of movement, 
until your next long rest. So you guys can all Ooh. move 15 feet further than before until oh. next long rest. Oh. oh. Yeah. Laka, laka. T. T. Jolly, <laughs> jolly T. So you guys are sitting there sipping on it and you all feel a little more energized and clearly Santa Fe is showcasing that. Yes. <laughs> I got like a pep in my step and it's shaking my butt. <laughs> and my trunk is swinging. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys are now traveling to Arbin after your tea. Yep. I'm uh, it's about a half on my elk. It's about a half day's travel. Or do you guys want do you want to ask Carter your questions now or do you just want to travel? I would like to ask Carter some questions. Okay. Oh dear. Is Mordecai in the in the sleigh or is he in the the cart? I can I can drive He's something? Walking. I somehow am proficient in land vehicles, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You don't know what he milk used, is. He but... used to have a food truck. <laughs> drive. He had a food cart. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go. Yeah. I uh. I can. Oh, I can talk to animals too. Oh my god, you could talk to my elk? Yeah. I don't, I don't think I can, I don't, I don't think do I can understand him. I think I just can convey ideas to him. Let's see. Oh. I also can talk to plants. What? Yeah, I can understand do, them, do but I can... Do you talk to your I oregano? Can... Yeah, yeah, that's why like... I found it. I asked the grass where it was. Oh. Now I'm gonna oh. cook you. <laughs> and they blew. Can you find other direction. things? Yeah. Like can... magic mushrooms? I mean, maybe. I haven't asked. We should find some magic mushrooms. Why would, you, why would you need them? What's a magic mushroom? Gonna what find makes out. it magic? Why does Santa Fe you... know about magic mushrooms? I mean, I've been around. <laughs> he I've been can surviving. have extracurricular been, activities. I... Santa, yeah. no! You, how, do you, how do you guys think I come up with some of these ideas I come up with? <laughs> you know, sometimes I need a boost to my mind, spirit. <laughs> you know? Alright, that's fair. But anyways, <clears throat> I'm wherever. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Well, if my elk any ever needs anything, please let me know. I mean, I could ask yeah, him, you know, but he can't yeah. tell me. He could just like make motions or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> make sure the elk's cool. Are you cool? Elk? And the other Are... horse as well. He just kind of nods. Yeah. I yeah, have we, cool. we have what's another the, horse. What's the horse's too. name? I, that's Lorraine's horse. I don't know. Uh, Dapper. Oh, mm -hmm. Dapper, are you okay? Are you cool? It just kind of snorts at you. You're not sure what to make of that. <laughs> yeah, he's okay, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good, good. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out my list. Carter. <laughs> Interrogation time. <laughs> Who is Sam? I will. You didn't lead I... into any of this, did you? <laughs> huh? Hmm? You didn't lead into any of this, did you? Nope. He just... I have a lot. No. Nope. He just went. I have different questions. That's just Very... the one I decided to start with. <laughs> Sam was a friend. Um, a very gentle smile goes across Carter's face. He was a very special friend. Okay. And he died. <laughs> okay. And then this, so Sam is the one who you thought was telling you to pull the lever. You pulled the lever, which obviously wasn't Sam. Do you know who it was? Honestly, it, no. No. To me, it maybe could still be him. Maybe I'm just a fool. <laughs> so if it was Sam, why would Sam want the Shadow Dragon release? Because Sam had some issues of his own. So it is a possibility that it was Sam. We went back to find his body, and it wasn't there. Okay. We might need some more info on this Sam. If Sam was the one that made you release the Shadow Dragon. He didn't make me. The choice was my own. 
Well, but he's the one that was in your mind telling you about it. Yes. Okay. It's called emotional <laughs> manipulation, dear. Well, that's possibility one. Okay. <laughs> Nancy Drew over here. <laughs> and then you mentioned a friend that died. His name was Drogos. Yes, he was the most recent friend who passed. What do you mean most recent? Well, for me, it was just a few days ago, but I'm assuming oh, for you all. Okay, that's that's correct. Yes, for you, it's been a few days, but in reality, it's been five years. And a few days. Okay. All right. How did Drogos die? Saving me. I I meant to be the one to save everyone, but he decided to beat me to it. Okay, so it was like a double self-sacrifice type of thing. No, he was always the stronger one. I'll never admit that again, but he was a stronger one. And he, for some reason, became a dragon himself. Wait, what? The, the, four, the four of you have heard the le that legend. Okay. Oh, okay. What? What? The what legend, legend of Drogos? Uh, the legend of Drogos? Of someone assuming the form of... Um, oh, hell, a dragon. What the hell's that god's name? He, uh, Bahamut. There you Bahamut. go. And fighting the dragon. Not successfully, oh. but... That is the reason for it only having three legs. And we wouldn't know that his, this person's name was Drogos. I don't think you would know the name, but you've heard the you legend of someone, a, of so someone you, okay. doing that. Can you spell that? Okay, so we just well, put this Bahamut. Little... Uh, Bahamut, uh, oh. I will get it for you. I know it's the B. Is it spelled the way it sounds? I have things like B A H A M U T. Yeah. M U T. Okay. Bahamut. These are these are like legends. What you're what you did do you know that there's legends of someone who turned into a dragon and cut off the leg of the shadow dragon and you're I, saying that your friend drogos did this i'm honestly not surprised i mean yes it happened i i grew up reading about legends and monsters and myths but now it seems like we are one well you are one I, I wouldn't consider myself one. Besides, I mean, the you were thing. there when this happened. <laughs> yeah, but usually you are the a closest legend is a hero. Piece, you're the closest piece we have to this whole story. We're going to connect these dots and get to the bottom of it. Connect away. All right, if I have any more questions, I'll ask you later. <laughs> Thank you for being so helpful. I just hope my faith in providing and disclosing is justified. Well, I mean, it's useful information that we didn't know before, like... I'm sure people higher up would like to know the name of Drogos, who is the one that did that and how the Shadow Dragon got out. All right, well, I'm going to stop you right there, <coughs> uh, Santa Fe, just for a moment. Why? Now, Carter got really lucky running into us because, well, we're not terrible people uh -huh. and we hold no grudge against him for what he's done not everybody's not going to feel that way mm. so i think perhaps we should keep this information under wraps ah. until we mm -hmm. find someone who maybe is not going to take his head i see where you're going with this how do you feel I about this carter i quite enjoy keeping my head i imagine so it's a pretty one well she said you're pretty <laughs> well, i have some tricks to show you later <laughs> Mordecai? Or <laughs> Lauren like raises her eyebrow uh, like, excuse me. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> well then. <laughs> we shall keep this a secret <laughs> amongst ourselves. 
in Carter's head, he's thinking about Samantha, but it, he's not ready to tell about that yet. <laughs> in the meantime, everyone's questioning you, and Mordecai's con confused. Like, what? <laughs> Tricks. Pretty much. <laughs> but all righty. Okay. Cool. We continue our journey to town. And we're going to keep this a secret of the what we know. Just, just for that would be appreciated. Time. That's I cool. Love this music, oh. by the way. This is this is good. <laughs> this is some traveling music right here. This is when the we're gonna go put back. We're bringing the country bears back together. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh well. So, do you all have mm. portals of goats coming around too? What? Por what? I'm sorry. <laughs> No, no, just milk from the sky. Weird stuff happens on occasion. Maybe you know, wild magic and all. Oh yeah, we some stuff could just be magic. Hmm. We just don't but know. I can't say I've run into any the random goats. Just or portals. I haven't seen a portal. Or yeah, no, that's high magic <laughs> beyond me. I, w I had thought that goats were a cleric thing, but apparently not. I'm sorry. Uh, Oops. no, I've never had a goat, and I don't know of any other clerics, at least not of, you know, my deity who knows about other clerics. I don't know what they do, but, uh, no. We, uh, no. I mean, perhaps somebody keeps goats as pets or or something but no personally no that's a few times that you've spoken of your deity how did you come to know them hmm. there was a passing priest who came through my little town um it's quite young but he spoke of second chances and how one thing we do, whatever it is, whether it be bad or good, is not the end all of everything. Tomorrow is always another day. And tomorrow means different choices, better choices, perhaps worse choices, but still a second chance, yes? And I like this idea. And being young, I decided, why not go and study? So I went and I went to the Church of Lathander. And there, something just happened. I don't know what caused it. I don't question it. But Lathander saw fit to bless me. I didn't stay in the church very long. Not because I didn't appreciate the gifts bestowed upon me or because I lost faith in my deity but mostly because I wasn't sure what he wanted me to do with these things that he's given me and I wasn't really finding the answers there at the church so I decided to go off on my own into seclusion, isolation and do my own meditating and prayers to Lathander hoping that perhaps he would give me answers and then all this happened and I thought well, perhaps that's my answer there for me just to become strong so that I can help others in this great time of need. And so that's what I've been doing. And I was very lucky enough to come across these other three compatriots who all have become very good friends and all ended up being very good people. Pip is a little scary at times, but still a good <laughs> little one. It's very and scary. <laughs> it can be very <laughs> scary. <laughs> Adorable, but absolutely terrifying. Is, is, is Pip in her saddle right now? Yeah, no. she's in her saddle right now. She <laughs> 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 just like ruffles her feathers a little bit. <laughs> and, well, now we found you. Hmm. Religion has been a sore point for me. Religion is not for everyone. It's a personal choice. You have to decide if that's something you want. And even people who decide to go to the church and study, 
not all of them stay. Some of them end up leaving because, well, maybe they didn't believe hard enough. Or they were looking for answers, but this was not where they were going to find them. But again, it's not for everyone, and I'm not about to force my religion on everybody else. That's a personal journey. <clears throat> what would you say your deity wants? To preserve life and all the beautiful things that come with it. That's really all it is. Second chances and preserving life. Learning from your mistakes and moving forward so that you make things better for the next person, for yourself. But again, that's what we do. Tomorrow is always another day. There's always another sunrise. I had been somewhat raised and reinforced in myself that the deities only want power and they'll stop at nothing to get it. Perhaps some. I'm not going to say there aren't deities who don't. They absolutely exist. And some people are drawn to that because they want power too and they believe they can get it from their deity. But far be it from me to, you know, talk badly about somebody else's deity. I'm not about to do that. Again, personal choices and that's their personal choice. But Lathander is what spoke to me. Lathander? Lathander. Would you say this deity is still around? Are they in danger? No, I wouldn't say so. No, they're not no. around? Or no, they're not in danger? They're not in danger. They are still very much around. I feel them. Sometimes. More so than others. That is very... Interesting to hear. Have you ever known a cleric before? One, but they aren't a cleric any longer. They realized their deity was ill fit to help them. And what I unleashed seemingly was seeking to destroy all the gods. And for a while, I didn't want to stop it. Because maybe the world would be better without them. You know, Mr. Swift, Pretty you're not deep. the first person to think such ways. So many bad things happen. And it's very easy to think wipe it all clean and start over that was the easy way working through it working hard that's the difficult part but that's why the gods create strong beings such as us such as pip such as mordecai such as santafin and you you're still here still fighting still searching for better things so it's mm -hmm. up to us to take the blessing they have given us of life and strength and do good with it. Not everybody sees it that way, and that's all right. Everybody has their dark moments. Bad things happen, like I said. But here we are. We're still here. And so we keep going along, step by step, day by day. I yep. think I'm going to be thankful to have met you. Happy to hear that. And I have to say, I think I'm pretty happy that you met us too. You could have met worse people, <laughs> much worse these day, this day and age. Yeah. Oh, I've met some characters. A lot of mercenaries <laughs> out there. You'll have to tell us stories of these characters. In due time, in due time. All right, so with that, you guys arrive at the edge of Arben. It is your typical small fantasy village. Very small. You don't see a lot, anybody really out and about. Um, the rest of the group, for obvious reasons, Carter, it kind of surprises you. You don't see anybody. Um, but that is where we're going to leave it this session. We're going to we're going to hit it hard next week, so. Yay! <laughs> All right. Um, 
with this, we are going to take it to a group I see called Ink and Liar. They're using some 3D program, so it looks fun. Uh, oh, but thank hey. you, everybody who came out to join us. Thank you for helping to find Carter's way home. Not what yet. <laughs> or no. not there, literally. <laughs> All right, we will see you all next Wednesday. But before that, Bye. Tuesdays Bye with Blue Virus. Take it easy. Yes. <laughs>